Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Naruto. I inherited the power of teacher Saitama after crossing. Chapter 81. In the end, Hazuki chose the second item Chidori, not because the third item was not good, but because he was too lazy to find the corpse and spent so much time looking for the corpse, it would be better to separate a shadow clone to save energy. And if he finds all the ingredients for the medicine, he may be able to successfully achieve the desired goal. Why don't you talk? Ha ha, this handsome little guy named Hazuki seems embarrassed. Kato Dan smiled. No, not ashamed. Hazuki raised his eyes and stared at Kato Dan, and said indifferently, I'm just too lazy to talk to a sissy like you. What, sissy? Kato Dan's smile stopped, and the whole person froze in place. Kato Dan admits that he looks a bit girly, but he has been praised by others since he was a child. This is the first time he has encountered this experience of being called a sissy. Depressed, he said again, although I look like a sissy, I am not a sissy. You don't need to explain, explanation is cover up, cover up is fact, you don't need to cover up anything. Hazuki said again. I, you, Kato Dan narrowed his eyes and wondered why this kid is so piercing. But in order to show his magnanimity, he pretended not to care and said, forget it, I don't have the same knowledge as you. Hypocritical, Hazuki replied again. You, Kato Dan was angry, and the image he had been working hard to create was instantly broken. Ding, congratulations to the master for completing the second item and rewarding lightning style Chidori. Like the warm current of the hot springs reappearing, Hazuki absorbed the knowledge of the lightning style Chidori and quickly mastered it. Look for a chance to try Chidori's power, maybe you can deduce a more powerful Reikiri. Hazuki said secretly, pondering and studying the more powerful Reikiri. Tsunade on the other side came over and gently tugged Hazuki's face. You, you, forget it, I can't control you, Jiraiya and I are going to the land of rain, you should protect yourself. Go ahead, bring these detonating talismans and throw them out when it's dangerous, remember to stay away. Hazuki took out a few detonators from the ninja bag and threw them to Tsunade. He had a lot of these explosive charms, some of which were about to go rotten, and he couldn't use them at all, so he simply threw a few of the ninja kits to Tsunade, after all, this woman helped him a lot. Okay, then take care of yourself. Tsunade took the detonator and put it away, then walked away with Jiraiya. Only Kato Dan, Nawaki, Hazuki, and Makoto were left in place. They will go to the land of soup to carry out the task of destroying a bandit. Let's go. Kato Dan, still furious, stepped forward. Nawaki seemed to have known Kato Dan for a long time, and he shrugged and chose to leave with Kato Dan. However, Hazuki did not rush to leave, but raised his right hand slightly. Summoning technique. The smoke filled the air, and a huge bison appeared under Hazuki's feet, standing still like a car. Makoto here. Hazuki beckoned. Well, Uchiha Makoto is very good, and hastily walked over and was pulled into his arms by Hazuki. Let's go. Sitting on the back of the bison, Hazuki hugged Makoto, looked at the surrounding environment leisurely, and walked forward a little bit like an outing. Such a scene happened to be seen by Kato Dan and Nawaki, and the two froze in place. This, and this operation. Nawaki was dumbfounded, feeling that it was a wrong decision to follow Kato Dan ahead of schedule. And Kato Dan is also a little depressed, thinking that this is a mission, it is obviously an outing. The two looked at each other and saw the envy in each other's eyes, but they could only complain a few words in their hearts, and then continued to hurry on their way. Only. After a long journey for a long time, the two were somewhat tired, and then looked to the other side enviously. On the other side of the bison, Hazuki was holding a scroll and watching it with relish. And Uchiha Makoto, gently pinched his shoulders for him, the more you enjoy that gesture, the more you enjoy it. Nawaki was envious of seeing such a scene, and he increasingly regretted choosing to leave with Kato Dan. When I become stronger in the future, I will also find such a well-behaved girlfriend. Nawaki said enviously, taking out the rice ball he was carrying and eating it. Brother Hazuki, are you hungry? Let me cook for you. Uchiha Makoto asked in a low voice. Ro, Hazuki grabbed Makoto's waist, fell to the ground in her shyness, and took out a space scroll. Bang, the white smoke rolled, and when it disappeared, a large dining table appeared on the scene, and even a large number of tools and materials were placed. 
Then Makoto skillfully picked up the tools and started busy cooking. Soon after, there was a good smell of vegetables. This scene made Kato Dan and Nawaki even more depressed. They smelled the fragrance of the vegetable and looked at the cold and hard rice ball in their hands, and their hearts were instantly unbalanced. Then, in the following time, they were even more envious, jealous and hated, because they saw with their own eyes that Hazuki was only two people, and they made six dishes, and those who couldn't finish it were directly fed to the bison. A real star, human, Nawaki muttered, regretting that he and Shin had another one. Next was the long journey, and when night fell, Nawaki was even more depressed. Because they could only find a corner to rest at will, but Hazuki took out the tent and rested in the warm tent. This, is this for a mission? This is purely for an outing. Nawaki complained, feeling envy and jealousy in his heart. Kato Dan chose to stay far away, to be out of sight and out of mind. Only, when people are unlucky, they can even drink water in their teeth. In the middle of the night, it rained heavily, and it was mixed with thunder and lightning. This kind of weather made Kato Dan and Nawaki angry, and the two of them became chickens. I'll go to Hazuki, I'll definitely get sick in the rain again. Nawaki took a deep breath. I'll go with you. The two of them walked forward together, intending to go to the location of the Hazuki tent, but they stopped after walking a dozen meters. Because they found that Hazuki was standing on a small hillside, just staying still in the rain. What's going on? Why is Hazuki in the rain? Nawaki wondered, wondering why. I don't know. Kato Dan was equally puzzled, not knowing what Hazuki was doing, and got caught in the rain in the middle of the night. Bang! Thunder and lightning roared, shining in the rain curtain, and also shining over the hillside. Hazuki is dangerous, don't stay there. Nawaki frowned. Hazuki was a classmate after all, so he kindly reminded him. But just as he said these words, a terrifying thunderbolt suddenly fell from the sky and slashed towards Hazuki. Be careful, Nawaki shouted, but he knew it was too late because the lightning had already fallen. Just at this moment, just when the lightning struck, thunder and lightning also appeared in Hazuki's palm, and he shot out at an unimaginable speed, hitting the thunder and lightning fiercely. Click, ZZZ, lightning flashed, white light shone on the surrounding area, and the lightning that fell from the sky was cut off abruptly, cut off by Hazuki's blow. Such a means, such an ability, made Nawaki and Kato Dan's eyes widen in shock. My god, this, what kind of ninjutsu is this? It can cut off lightning. Nawaki yelled, and the whole person was shocked. And Kato Dan next to him is in the same state, standing in the same place stupidly. The two of them just stood silently, staring stupidly at Hazuki, who was flickering in the thunder and lightning. Quite a while, Kato Dan finally spoke, and he asked with shock, Can you tell me the name of this ninjutsu? Yes, it's called Reikiri. Boom, the indifferent voice echoed in the thunder, responding to the arrival of this ninjutsu into the world. Reikiri, Kato Dan murmured, quietly looking at Hazuki who came down from the hillside in the rain, the rain was very cold at the moment, but Kato Dan felt that his heart was even colder. The power of ninjutsu that can even cut through lightning is unimaginable. According to his estimation, this reikiri is likely to be an S-rank ninjutsu. Such a level of ninjutsu was easily used by the young man in front of him, and it seemed that this young man was developing ninjutsu. Thinking of developing ninjutsu, it is even more difficult for Kato Dan to calm down. How terrifying that a young boy should develop ninjutsu of this level. You must know that such a level of ninjutsu is enough to be used as a jonin's trick, and many jonin may not have such a trick, let alone develop it. Therefore, in the rain, Kato Dan watched Hazuki pass by in shock and watched him return to his tent. Wait, Hazuki's clothes, Hazuki's clothes didn't get wet. Nawaki said suddenly. What did you say? Kato Dan was stunned for a moment, his brain quickly recalled the scene just now, and the whole person immediately froze in place. There's really no need to get wet, what's going on with? Is this also a kind of ninjutsu? Kato Dan said, his eyes staring into copper bells. I don't know, Hazuki has been a genius since he was a child. He rarely communicates with us. The only information is that he is very strong, very strong, and even developed an advanced ninjutsu called Rasengan. Nawaki spoke solemnly and said the information he knew little by little, but the more he said it, the more he felt that Hazuki was extraordinary, 
The more he said it, the more he felt that he was too stupid, and finally he was depressed and didn't want to say it. Why are not you talking? I don't want to talk about it, the gap is too big, I feel ashamed to talk about it. Nawaki sighed and decided to leave here, and the province's heart was uncomfortable. The rain has stopped, let's go back. Ro. The next morning, the sun was shining brightly, the birds were singing and the flowers were fragrant. A team of four continued to move forward under the rising sun, but Hazuki and Makoto were still sitting on the back of the big bison, while Nawaki and Kato Dan could only walk on the ground. Ding. Please choose. 1. In Thorn Mode 1, invite Nawaki to sit on the back of the bison, reward, 30% physical enhancement. 2. Thorn Mode 2, continue to ignore Nawaki and Kato Dan, reward, physical fitness increased by 31%. 3. Thorn Mode 3, continue to slap Kato Dan, make him doubt life, reward, physical enhancement 32% plus a small amount of chakra. A mechanical system sound appeared in his mind, Hazuki examined the three options, and a smile appeared on the corner of his lips. Makoto, do you know what happiness is? Hazuki asked, looking up at the sky. What is brother Hazuki? Makoto blinked his big eyes cutely. Happiness is that we can sit and enjoy while we are on our way, while others can only walk hard on the ground. Puff, Makoto couldn't help laughing, and his big eyes turned into crescent moons. Beside, Kato Dan and Nawaki were very depressed when they heard this, and they turned their heads to the side angrily. Even, they deliberately fell behind a little, and they didn't want to go with Hazuki, which made the province feel uncomfortable. Ha, huh, didn't the mission complete, then be tough, quote. Hazuki glanced at Kato Dan and Nawaki, seeing that they would rather be behind the big buffalo than walking together, Hazuki's eyes flashed. Then he felt the wind direction and quickly patted the back of the big bison. Puff, smelly and loud farts, released from the big bison pee pumps, rushed directly to Kato Dan and Nawaki behind with the wind. What does it taste like? Kato Dan wondered, took a deep breath, and widened his eyes. Vomit, whizzing. Kato Dan and Nawaki sprang far away at the same time, and when they stopped, their faces had turned the color of pig livers. It stinks to death, the abominable buffalo. I don't fart in the morning, and I don't fart in the evening, but we passed by and farted, and it stinks to death. Nawaki covered his nose and complained, feeling that he was out of luck for this mission. But after Nawaki finished speaking, looking at Kato Dan, who was about to faint from the stink, his heart suddenly became balanced. At least he didn't take a deep breath. Ding. Congratulations to the master for completing the third item, reward, 32% physical enhancement plus a small amount of chakra. The warm current like soaking in a hot spring reappeared, and Hazuki felt extremely relieved. He raised Makoto's delicate chin and smiled. Life is so beautiful, Makoto is so pretentious. Hazuki brother, Uchiha Makoto's big eyes were watery, and Hazuki's small head was curled up in happiness. The two hugged each other like this, enjoying the rare warmth under the warm morning sun. But Nawaki and Kato Dan on the other side have become dead faces. They were already uncomfortable, and they were very depressed. After experiencing the rain and eating stinky farts, they were now sprinkled with a wave of dog food, and the two of them were completely heartbroken. I think it was a wrong choice to go out with Hazuki this time. Nawaki muttered and vowed never to work with Hazuki again. Yes. I think so too. Kato Dan nodded in agreement and vowed never to wear such thorns again, which can make people mad. With depression, the two continued to move forward, and most of the time they were far away from Yi Yi, and finally came to the country of Soup. It's great to finally come to the land of Soup. Nawaki looked at the lively streets and the people coming and going, and he was very happy. Kato Dan next to him was in a similar state, and they could finally take a good bath. I'm going to see the client first, Nawaki, you guys find a hotel to stay first. Kato Dan said. Ro, Nawaki nodded, just about to leave, but at this time a few girls came across from the opposite side, looking very cute and pretentious. It stinks, what do these two people smell like? When a few girls passed Nawaki and Kato Dan, they hurried away with their noses covered, their expressions full of disgust. Quote dot 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 quote. The veins on Nawaki's forehead jumped, and he wanted to go crazy. Kato Dan next to him was in a similar state, and he wanted to hit the wall in depression. 
They turned their heads and looked at Hazuki behind them with resentment, but what they saw was a scene that made them collapse. Wow, what a handsome big brother, hello, why haven't I seen you, are you from the outer village? My name is Haruna, what's your name, big brother? Big brother, are you a ninja? Can you meet me? Several cute and cute girls were chatting around Hazuki, asking about something from time to time, and they were close to each other. In a different scene today, watching Nawaki and Kato Dan want to vomit blood, the two angrily complained in their hearts, lamenting the gap between people, why is it so big? Okay okay, is there a hotel near here? Hazuki protects Makoto as he walks among Yingyanyan, and at the same time inquires about the situation around him. Yes, there is a hotel not far ahead, I will take you there. I'm going to, I'm going to. A large group of people surrounded Hazuki and left, leaving only Kato Dan and Nawaki silent. I'll never come out with Hazuki again, absolutely not. Nawaki roared wildly, attracting the attention of passers-by. Those people looked at them like a fool, and the two suffered 10,000 injuries again. After a few minutes, hotel where you stay. Brother Hazuki, do we really care about the mission? They went to find the bandit's stronghold and lair. Makoto asked suspiciously. It's just a little fool, don't worry about it. Hazuki shook his head and poured a drop of his own blood into a test tube, ready to begin research with a new purification method. With the space scroll, he carried a lot of tools, and he has been studying the subject, but the success rate has always failed to meet the requirements. The purification method this time is to use the phagocytosis and stacking method. First, the colonization is carried out, and then it is purified by phagocytosis and filtration of imprints. It may hopefully meet my requirements. Hazuki thought, wearing a white coat and experimenting again, carefully using the phagocytosis and stacking method to purify and filter. Two hours later, Hazuki looked at the red test tube in his hand with joy in his eyes. It's incredible that the purity has reached 99%. I didn't expect that it was just an outing that gave me an unexpected joy. Hazuki said in surprise, quickly drank the solution in the red test tube, and the blood in his body began to boil in the next second. A stream of warm currents flowed in the body, and the cells in the body were excited as if activated, singing and joyful, until they completely returned to calm after a few minutes. The effect is a bit poor, and it seems that further purification is needed. Hazuki frowned and pondered. Brother Hazuki, your eyes. Makoto's crisp voice came from beside him, and there was a hint of surprise in his voice. Eyes, Hazuki was stunned, and hurriedly looked at the mirror. Next second, a pair of faint blue eyes appeared in the mirror, shining like sapphire. Finally there is hope. Hazuki looked at his eyes in the mirror, and when he saw the faint brilliance that shone, there was a trace of success in his heart. It took a few years, and since the system restarted, Hazuki began to study the eyes, which is the bloodline of the Hyuga clan, in order to increase the means of combat. He spent a lot of time every day experimenting, researching, purifying and analyzing with the vast amount of knowledge he had acquired when he completed the task before, and finally paid off. Although this reward is only a sign, Hazuki is still very happy. This way of turning knowledge into power gives him a great sense of accomplishment. Makoto, go buy some material back, this is the material name. Hazuki quickly wrote a few lines, shoved it into Makoto, and started purifying again with excitement. According to his calculations, the amount of the purified potion required is very large, and it is more difficult to purify it later, but the advantage is. The increase he can get will also be permanent, there will be no rebound, and there will be no side effects, because it comes from his blood and is his own. I'm really looking forward to it. If the bloodline is accumulated to a certain extent, it will definitely cause a qualitative change, then a new purification will begin. Hazuki said, and fell into the concentrated purification again. The other side, a remote mansion. Kato Dan and Nawaki stood on the courtyard wall and observed carefully, investigating the scene in the large mansion. Kato Dan Sensei, is this the stronghold of those bandits? Why is it so quiet? Nawaki asked in a low voice. Why do I feel a little strange, it seems that I overlooked something. Kato Dan frowned, always feeling that something was wrong. Whoosh whoosh, a large amount of kanai swept from the surroundings, flying towards Nawaki and Kato Dan with the sound of breaking wind. Be careful, jingle jingle, the cremation splashed, 
and all the kanai were knocked out, and Kato Dan escorted Nawaki to a nearby tree. Stop them! Whoosh whoosh! More than a dozen fully armed ninjas rushed out with killing intent and ridicule, and everyone's chakra fluctuations were shocking. Two Jonin, a dozen Chunin, we were caught, and there was something wrong with the old man who was guiding the way. Kato Dan's face was solemn, and he never thought that it was just an ordinary task of destroying bandits, and there were so many masters. Ninjas of Konoha, since you dare to participate in this matter, prepare to die. In the dark, a man with a scarred face stepped out. He was burly and his face was cold. His eyes were fierce and sinister. His eyes were fixed on Kato Dan, and then he pulled out the long knife behind him. Wandering ninja, this is trouble. Kato Dan is solemn. He has understood that the bandit must be included by these wandering ninjas, otherwise there will be so many masters and ordinary bandits. Nawaki, you must be careful not to get too far from me. It is good. Kill. Whoosh whoosh. The lively streets of Yunokuni. Uchiha Makoto came out of a shop and walked back with his purchases. It's very heavy, but I finally bought it all, I will send it back quickly, so as not to delay brother Hazuki's research. Uchiha Makoto said, and ran home on his little feet, thinking about what to eat for Hazuki in his little head. By the way, I will buy some oranges after I send back the materials to brother Hazuki. Brother Hazuki likes oranges the most. Uchiha Makoto muttered as she ran, but the material in her hand was too heavy, and she was tired and panting after running for a while. At this time, two wandering ninjas with long swords suddenly appeared and blocked in front of Uchiha Makoto. Find her and kill her. Not good. Uchiha Makoto was startled, took out his kanai and hurriedly jumped to dodge. But the material in her hand was too heavy, and her movement speed could not be improved at all, and the two ninjas were both chunin, and their strength was much stronger than hers. Faced with such a life and death crisis, Uchiha Makoto's only correct course of action was to throw away the materials and run away. But she didn't do that. Instead, she held the material in her arms, as if worried that the destruction of the material would delay Hazuki's research. This clumsy decision reduced her movement speed and was easily overtaken by the two chunins. Go to hell! The two chunins slashed from the sky with taunting swords, and slashed at Uchiha Makoto as if watching a dead man. Facing the mortal ending, Uchiha Makoto instinctively protected the material in his arms and closed his eyes. Puff! Blood splattered, the smell of blood filled the air, and the two corpses fell to the ground with no breath. E.H. Uchiha Makoto was stunned, looking at the corpse in front of him at a loss, completely unaware of what was going on. What's the matter? Why did they all die suddenly? Isn't this the flower that Hazuki's brother condensed with ice? How did it stick in the hearts of these two people? Uchiha Makoto said stupidly, and looked around with wide eyes, but he didn't see the figure of Hazuki's brother. Could it be that brother Hazuki used some kind of secret method to set up protection measures on me? Uchiha Makoto couldn't figure it out, his little head was not enough. By the way, I hurry back and warn brother Hazuki. Makoto didn't stay here for long, but hurried to the hotel where he lived. When he was about to arrive at the hotel, Uchiha Makoto saw that Hazuki had already stood at the special entrance, and there were four corpses of wandering ninjas around. Hazuki brother, are you okay, are you hurt? Uchiha Makoto asked stupidly, checked Hazuki carefully, and found that there was no injury at all, so he was relieved. Stupid girl, you should be concerned about your own safety. Hazuki said helplessly as he mixed Makoto's little head. I'm fine, as long as brother Hazuki is okay, I'm relieved. Makoto blinked his big eyes and said, then raised his little hand and said, By the way, Hazuki-san, this is the material I bought, I brought it back. Well, my family Makoto has done a good job. Hazuki smiled warmly and hugged Makoto deeply in his big hands. By the way, brother Hazuki, how did those two ninjas die? Uchiha Makoto asked curiously. It's just some small tricks, you just need to remember that even if you face the attack of a cage-level powerhouse, you will be fine because of me. Hazuki said to himself. Brother Hazuki is amazing. Although Makoto didn't understand, she still chose to believe, even if the words seemed ridiculous, she still chose to believe. But those people dare to attack you, you must give them some color, let's go girl, let you see my true strength today. Hazuki said while wrapping his arms around Makoto's slender waist, 
while surrounded by green light, he gradually floated into the sky. This is flying, Kazuki brother, you can actually fly. Makoto was startled, looking at all this in disbelief, with horror in his beautiful eyes. This is just the beginning. You will know what strength is in a while. Well, let's go to the bandit's lair. Kazuki smiled and quickly headed towards the mountains outside. E.H. Kazuki-san, do you already know the bandit's lair? Of course, and I also know that Nawaki and Kato Dan were attacked, but ignore them and go to destroy the bandit lair first. Before he finished speaking, Kazuki rushed towards his destination in the wind, and there was a hint of coldness in his eyes, which meant he was angry. Bandit's lair. A large number of bandits gathered and stood, quietly looking at the bandit leader at the forefront. Listen carefully, once Kurigawa has dealt with those Konoha Shinobi people, we will act immediately to seize control of the country of Yuno in one fell swoop and completely control this small country. Great, we finally don't have to be wandering ninjas. Hey, we will be orthodox by then, and those big countries will also recognize our existence. Haha, ha, doesn't that mean that the women of Tang Jiguo let us play? Tisk tisk, I'm really looking forward to it. Fortunately, I came here with the leader, otherwise there would be no such good thing. The bandits said, excited and at the same time looked at the bandit leader with admiration. Leader, we can't wait, go ahead, kill all those who are in power, and control the country of soup. Yes yes yes, then women, power and wealth will all be ours ha ha ha. The bandits shouted, very excited, and even took out various weapons, looking impatient. Continue to wait. Kurigawa should have killed those Konoha shinobi and are rushing back. The bandit leader said to himself. Good leader. Ha, huh, what is that? Look at the sky. A bandit suddenly pointed to the sky and said. Heaven, there will be something in the sky, don't make a fuss. The wandering ninjas said a word of that bandit with contempt, then looked up to the sky, and their pupils shrank in the next second. What is that? Floating in the air, it seemed to be people, two people, and they were rushing towards us. No, how can people fly in the air? It's close, it's really people, a man and a woman. The bandits stared at the sky in disbelief, and at the figure that was flying at an extremely high speed, everyone's eyes widened. Something's wrong. The bandit leader squinted and looked at the sky, and a bad feeling rose in his heart. According to his years of experience, people who can fly can be counted on one hand, and each one is synonymous with power. Now there are people who can fly, and their intentions are clearly directed at their old nest. If such a powerful person is their enemy, they will inevitably suffer heavy losses, even heavy casualties. Fortunately, there is a secret passage. If the situation is not good, I will immediately escape from the secret passage, and then let these idiots fight against the flying man. The bandit leader said secretly, and then shouted, Don't be afraid, with me, everything can be solved. No matter how strong the enemy is, as long as we unite, we will surely win, and everyone will prepare for battle. It's the leader. Following the order, the bandits waited in earnest, watching the silhouette getting closer and closer in the sky with vigilance. After a while, the bandits finally saw the figure in the sky. It was a man and a woman. They were not very old, but being able to fly was enough to prove their strength. Fortunately, they were young and their strength should not be too terrifying. The bandits were relieved. Is something wrong? Above the sky, Hazuki floated around Makoto, looking down, looking down at all the bandits, looking down at all the wandering ninjas. You shouldn't kill my woman. The indifferent voice echoed, echoing in this area, the voice was not loud, but it reached everyone's ears strangely. When the bandits heard this, their expressions were solemn, and they felt a little troublesome. Don't be afraid, it's just a bluff. That's right. Two little devils think they can fly and they're amazing. Dare to come down, it will definitely kill you. Yeah, come down, the wandering ninjas shouted, secretly preparing to throw kanai and detonating talismans to attack at any time. Only, Hazuki in the sky ignored their words and clenched his fists. You don't need to exist anymore, Hazuki said indifferently, and slammed his clenched right fist in the direction of the bandit. This kind of punching action made Makoto very puzzled, because they were in the air, and Hazuki punched in the air, which was a big difference between the bandit and the bandit. So Makoto was cute and didn't understand what was going on. But, just when Makoto was stunned, when she was suspicious, Hazuki's fist slammed out, hitting the air hard. Then, 
Boom! The thunderous noise spread all over the world, and the terrifying shock wave rolled like an ocean wave, and a white air beam, with the power of a natural disaster, swept the entire bandit lair. And, the beam of light penetrated directly through the old nest, and with unmatched power, blasted into Yamanaka several miles away. Boom boom boom. The sky collapsed, the rocks flew horizontally, and the terrifying beam of light flashed. The mountain several miles away was divided into two, and a large area in the middle was turned into a barren land. As for the bandit's lair, there was no trace left, and all the enemies were completely dissipated under this punch. This, Yu Jujing became O-shaped, with big eyes and the whole body was motionless. It took several minutes for Uchiha Makoto to recover, and she said with a trembling body, Yi. Brother Hazuki, the mountain was beaten in half. Well, take it seriously this time. Hazuki smiled, her voice as soft as possible, because it scared her a bit this time. Brother Hazuki, this, is this your true strength? Makoto was still trembling but the scene in front of him was so terrifying that even a mountain several miles away could be divided into two. Such power was simply a miracle. Don't be afraid, no matter what strength I have, I will always be your boyfriend, and your husband will be your husband in the future, understand? My good wife. Hazuki's voice was gentle, and her big hand gently rubbed her small head, soothing her flustered mind. Even Hazuki took the initiative to approach, kissing Makoto's little face lightly, and smiling at her silly appearance. Come on, go back and cook for me, I don't like eating hotel food, so you can only be my little cook for the rest of your life. Hazuki changed the subject. Well, everyone listens to brother Hazuki. Makoto wrapped his arms around Hazuki's neck and rested his small head on Hazuki's shoulder, hiding his head there like a kitten. Makoto didn't leave Hazuki's arms until they returned to the inn. Hazuki brother, I'm going to cook. Makoto obediently went to the kitchen, but his mood was still not calm. I'll go with you. Thank you Hazuki brother. The two walked into the kitchen together, and soon the sound of chopping vegetables and cooking sounded, accompanied by the voice and chatting, and the words of concern mixed with it from time to time seemed very warm. The other side, Kato Dan and Nawaki are fighting against the bandits, and although they are not mortally wounded, they are also in a state of embarrassment. There are too many of them, I'm afraid they will suffer if they continue. Kato Dan said solemnly. Let's break through. Before our stamina and chakra are exhausted, let's fight. Nawaki modeled Bloodline's side face and said firmly. No, your strength is too poor, it is very dangerous to force a breakout, that scar face is only inferior to me. Kato Dan objected. Then what, we have no way out. No, there is another way, it's just going to be dangerous. Kato Dan said, ready to use the most powerful trick, which is also a spiritualization technique. This ninjutsu is the forbidden technique, and the danger is very high. Kato Dan is confident that he will survive, but Nawaki. Boom, the explosion and roar came from outside the faraway village, like an earthquake, shaking the surrounding leaves. Everyone looked in the direction of the roaring sound at the same time, and the scar-faced bandit's expression changed drastically. Get out, get out. Scarface let out a loud shout and took all the bandits away like lightning, with horror in his eyes. Impossible, it can't be a stronghold. There will never be an accident with a leader. He is a Jonin who is stronger than me. The scarred-faced man comforted himself to move forward quickly. After a long journey for a period of time, he finally returned to the old nest, but when they saw the old nest in the barren land, they were all dumbfounded. Where is this? Where is our stronghold? said the scar-faced man silly. As if, as if our stronghold was leveled. Impossible, the stronghold is on a hill, how come there are no hills now, are we going the wrong way? It's here, you look at the big mountain behind, isn't that the spring tree mountain? It turned into two halves. The wandering ninjas looked at the towering spring tree mountain, at the empty area between Yamanaka, and collectively petrified. I think, let's leave, this country of soup is a bit scary. Scarface swallowed. Yes, let's go, this is really not a place for people. Let's go, I'll never come to the country of soup again. The wandering ninja did not dare to stay any longer, and rushed to other areas, vowing never to come to the land of soup again. Inside the hotel, Hazuki and Makoto prepare their meals, ready to savor a hearty meal, when a mechanical voice suddenly sounds. Ding, please choose. 1. Thorn Mode 1, 
let Makoto kneel and feed you, reward, water style. 2. Thorn Mode 2, hold Makoto and let her feed you, reward, lightning style lay clone. 3. Thorn Mode 3, eat food alone, not for Makoto, reward, earth style soil clone plus a small amount of chakra. Listening to the system's mechanical beep, Kazuki's mind probed for the god level option, and quickly locked the second option. The ability of Lay Clone can reverse the paralysis of the enemy when he is cloned, which can be regarded as an outstanding clone technique, and he is not lacking in chakra, which can be completely ignored. As for the water body of the first item, he bought this ninjutsu with money before, and he has thoroughly learned it, so it is even more impossible to choose, so Hazuki finally chose the second item. Ding! After the selection is complete, please do your best, master. Ignoring the sound of the system, Hazuki turned to look at Makoto next to him, and then waved, come to me. Ha, Uchiha Makoto was so cute that he didn't realize what was going on for a while. Let's change the way we eat today. Hazuki smiled and hugged Makoto's body, before placing it in his arms. Hazuki brother tilde operator, Uchiha Makoto is big, with a small body curled up and afraid to move, and her cute little ears are already glowing red. I'm hungry, get me some food. Hazuki said with a smirk. I know, I know. Uchiha Makoto pouted her mouth and her eyes were watery, but she still raised her little hand obediently and fed Chiba with chopsticks. Delicious, what a beautiful life. Hazuki tasted the food, smelled the aroma of vegetables and Makoto's body, and felt very comfortable. He was relieved, but Uchiha Makoto was shy, and even the food was very restrained, and his heart was beating like a deer. Girl, your heart is beating so fast. Hazuki leaned into Makoto's little ear and smirked. Where, where is it? Uchiha Makoto was big, and his face was blushing and he was about to bleed. Okay, alright, stop teasing you, let's continue cooking. Okay, happiness is the refreshing breeze in summer, which makes people feel good, and Hazuki feels that getting Makoto is the most correct decision he made in this world. Well behaved, director, smart, diligent, docile, beautiful, generous, considerate, countless words are not enough to describe the beauty of this girl, Hazuki can get her is also a great joy in life. Ding, congratulations to the master for completing the task, reward, lightning style lay clone. Warm currents flowed through Hazuki's body, and he was harvested again during this meal time. Hazuki in a happy mood picked up his chopsticks and looked at Makoto, girl, I'll feed you too. No need, brother Hazuki, you shield me from the wind and rain when you are outside, and of course I will take care of you at home. Makoto's rare solemn attitude even used honorifics. Don't be so serious, just feed you a meal. Hazuki mixed Makoto's little head. No, this is the most basic rule, and it's also my responsibility. Brother Hazuki, be good. Makoto raised his small hand and pulled Hazuki's big hand, looking at him with a little seriousness. Okay, okay, listen to you. Hazuki looked at Makoto's tight little face and shook his head amusingly. This girl rarely suggested her own ideas, so she just let her go. Thank you Hazuki brother. Makoto thanked Hazuki by kissing Hazuki's side face gently. The two of them chatted happily until Kato Dan and Nawaki returned in embarrassment. Then after the catastrophe, they ate another mouthful of dog food. EMMMMMMMM. Over the next few days, Hazuki continued to work on extracting medicines and purifying blood vessels. And Makoto still takes care of him meticulously, taking care of him like a little wife. On the contrary, Kato Dan and Nawaki have been busy out and about, looking for the bandit's lair. Hazuki ignored these and took a few drops of Makoto's blood and joined the research. Two days later, sunny morning. After a night of experimentation, Hazuki walked into the living room with joy, with three tubes of potion in his hand. With anticipation, Hazuki drank one of the purifying potions and nodded in satisfaction after tasting it for a while. The bloodline has added a little bit again, and it won't take long for the bloodline to be purified, resulting in a transformation, then I don't know what the master's ability will be. Hazuki said expectantly. Although he has a trump card like Saitama template, he doesn't need to pay attention to the bloodline and so on, but it's too boring. He doesn't have a game console, no computer, and he doesn't have to go out to fight monsters. After a long time, it will be annoying. And through the transformation of knowledge into power, 
Hazuki thinks it is very interesting, it can add a lot of inspiration to him, and even rare ones can greatly increase his interest. Next are these two tubes of medicine. I don't know if it can achieve the effect I imagined. Hazuki looked at the two purification potions in his right hand with anticipation in his eyes. The two medicines were extracted from Makoto's blood. After a comparative experiment, it was found that these medicines also had a great effect on him, and after drinking it for a long time, there would be unexpected joy. Without hesitation, Hazuki quickly drank one of the potions, then closed his eyes and quietly felt the warmth in his body. Soon he opened his eyes again, a trace of blood flashed in the depths of his eyes, and then disappeared. The first time I took it, the effect was the strongest, but unfortunately, as a Hayuga family, the effect I took was really weak. Hazuki shook his head helplessly. He had already expected the effect of the medicine this time, and he was not too disappointed about it. It was just that he had to take a lot of medicines to achieve the level he wanted. By the way, what happens if Makoto drinks it? This is the first time I drink this potion, but the effect is very strong, even a foreigner like me has an effect, if it is her own. With a hint of curiosity in Hazuki's eyes, the figure flashed to the washing room. Girl, drink this, Hazuki said to Makoto who was washing clothes. Okay, Makoto didn't ask what it was, just took the water stain from his hand and drank it in one gulp. Um, Makoto hurriedly covered her little nephew, bowing her head and saying nothing. What's wrong? Bitter, Hazuki-san is a little bit bitter. Makoto whispered, and because the medicine was too bitter, mist appeared in her big eyes. No way, it was too bitter, many times more bitter than the most bitter herbs, but in order to take care of Hazuki's feelings, Makoto only said that it was slightly bitter. That's it, then change the taste next time. Hazuki model Makoto's small head comforted. He is used to drinking these medicines, and he is not afraid of this little bit of bitterness, but he did not expect that Makoto, a cute girl with no flaws, has a fearful side. Hazuki didn't mean to blame her, no one is perfect, and Makoto's shortcoming of being afraid of drinking bitter medicine is understandable, so it seems real. How, do you feel anything? Hazuki asked Makoto, who lowered his head. It feels so warm, so strange, I always feel like this is what I need, Hazuki brother, why is this? Makoto was puzzled, raised his drooping head, revealing a pair of blood-colored eyes that were constantly spinning, and finally slowly stopped spinning and solidified completely, forming a pair of bewitching one Tomo Sharingan. Hazuki-san, what is this? It's hard, but it's always helpful to me. Uchiha Makoto said suspiciously, not noticing the change in himself at all. Sure enough, the Uchiha clan has the strongest effect when taking it, and it seems that the effect is different depending on the bloodline. Hazuki said secretly, smiling at Makoto's one Tomo Sharingan. No, the effect of the potion seems to be a little too strong. It stands to reason that at least 10 tubes are required to have this effect. Wait, maybe her bloodline is stronger than I thought. Hazuki vaguely understood why, while thinking about his next plan. Ding, please choose. 1. Keep the current way, improve yourself freely, reward, 20% for blowing snow template. 2. Cultivate the eyes of Uchiha Makoto, and then dig it out for your own use, reward, 30% of hungry wolf template. 3. Obtain the blood of Senju, Uchiha, Vortex, Wei Yoruichi, Golden Horn and Silver Horn family, purify and take it, merge with your bloodline, and finally transform into the Otsutsuki family. Bonus. 30% Tornado Template plus Forbidden Technique Impure World Reincarnation Final Edition plus lots of Chakra. Note, is the third item high, consumes a long time, and may even lead to chaos in the ninja world, please choose as appropriate. Looking at the sudden appearance of the god level choice, Hazuki's thoughts swept across quickly, and he quickly frowned. The second outright ruled out, and Hazuki ignored it at all, but the first and third put him in a choice. In fact, he prefers the first item, because the free way of promotion is also his favorite, but the content of the third item coincides with the promotion route he has set. His plan is to first purify the blood of the Hyuga family, and finally obtain Tensegen or clean eyes, and then try to integrate more blood, improve himself, and finally transform into a stronger race. Originally, he did not intend to be too radical, after all, there is time to experiment slowly. Besides, this is just a tool for him to pass the time. Now that there is a task, 
he can't be so lazy. Therefore, Hazuki picked up the spirit and chose the third option. Ding, the selection is complete, come on, master. Ignoring the voice of the system in his head, Hazuki looked into Makoto's eyes and smiled, look in the mirror and look at your eyes. Okay, Uchiha Makoto was nice, didn't ask why, immediately obeyed, turned his head to look in the mirror. But after seeing the changes in her eyes in the mirror, her small mouth opened into an O shape again. Right, Sharingan, I actually own a Sharingan, what's going on? Could it be, could it? Uchiha Makoto hurriedly looked at Hazuki, his face full of shock. Brother Hazuki, you are helping me, right? It's a potion specially prepared for me after seeing that I have no strength, right? Woohoo, thank you Hazuki brother, thank you. Tears appeared in Uchiha Makoto's big eyes, and those crystal tears dripped like pearls with broken strings, and she. And she jumped into Hazuki's arms in the next second, choked on Hazuki's clothes, and was reluctant to leave. Okay, okay. Hazuki gently patted Makoto's back in a warm voice, and felt her soft long hair from the side of his face, and his heart was extraordinarily warm. This girl never asks for anything, even if she is a little nicer to her, she is moved to tears, which is really loving and distressing. I'm sorry brother Hazuki, I got your clothes dirty. Makoto was moved to cry for a while, and when she saw the tears in Hazuki's heart, she quickly apologized. Nothing. Hazuki looked at Makoto's pear blossom with rain, wiped away the remaining tears from the corner of her eyes with big hands, lowered her head and kissed her gently, comforting her softly. The two stayed together for a while, and then they got busy. On the border between the land of rain and the land of fire, in a lush forest, Tsunade and Jiraiya, with a dozen ninjas, galloped towards Konoha with pale faces, their expressions full of solemnity and concern. Tsunade, your injury is too serious, I'll buy you time after I stay. Jiraiya worried. No, you are not his opponent, and you must bring the information back. I didn't expect that we would be attacked by Hanzo of the Salamander. He actually knew our route. There are definitely traitors in the village. Tsunade said with a pale face, looking very haggard, but she still used healing jutsu strong to heal her injuries. Jiraiya looked at Tsunade's state checked the chasing soldiers behind, and her expression became more and more solemn. Now you need time to heal, the chasing troops in the rear are too urgent, you must find a way to stop them, and give me all your detonating charms. Jiraiya said that he took out all his detonating charms, and then collected the detonating charms provided by the ninjas at the rear, but the number was only 30 or so, which was pitifully small. I have a few more here. Hazuki gave them to me. You can take them too. Handing the few detonating talismans to Jiraiya, Tsunade bit her lower lip lightly and continued to move forward, but her injuries were too severe, and every step forward caused pain in her eyes. Looking at Tsunade's state, Jiraiya sighed, quickly stuck the detonator on the surrounding trees, and continued to leave. There are too few detonating charms, I'm afraid it won't have much effect, we can only accelerate again. It is good, Tsunade nodded and continued to move forward despite the pain, only the blood dripped down the corners of her lips, and finally scattered in the air. Hope, I can stop them for a moment, alas. Jiraiya sighed, knowing that the detonating talisman had little effect, and could only hope for the favor of fate. Boom, a terrifying loud noise reverberated, and a hot air wave suddenly hit from the rear, blowing Jiraiya, Tsunade and others more than 10 meters away. After they stabilized their bodies, they looked back in amazement, and their pupils quickly shrank to a point. Now, the large forest area in the rear has completely turned into a sea of fire, and the monstrous flames are burning, accompanied by these flames, and thick smoke. F. What happened? A Konoha shinobi questioned in a loud voice, his eyes fixed on the terrifying sea of fire. No, I don't know, but I know that those chasing soldiers are absolutely miserable. Jiraiya, am I dazzled? Are you using some forbidden technique? Tsunade asked in disbelief. You're not dazzled, and I'm not using the forbidden technique, but I don't know what's going on. Jiraiya swallowed, feeling like she was dreaming. The first second was chased by a terrifying enemy, and the next second, the enemy fell into a sea of fire, which turned out to be so unexpected. So at this moment, they stood there like a ghost, motionless. Quite a while, Jiraiya finally came to his senses, thinking about the reason for this, and soon he thought of something, and suddenly looked at Tsunade. If my expectations are correct, 
this must be the reason for the detonating charms, and our detonating charms are all distributed by the village, only yours are different. You mean, this terrifying sea of fire was caused by the detonating charm that Hazuki gave me? Tsunade was surprised, and his little head carefully recalled the original scene. She remembered that when Hazuki gave the violent talisman, he told her to stay away, saying that the power was a bit strong, and she had a clear understanding in her heart. I thought it was an ordinary detonating talisman, but I didn't expect the power of this kid to be a little big, so big. Tsunade shook his head and said, but there was a deep warmth in his heart. She has already understood that the detonating charms with such terrifying power are absolutely valuable, and even these detonating symbols may take several years to complete. Hazuki gave such a precious detonating talisman to himself so lightly. This kind of silent help without asking for anything in return, even without taking credit, made Tsunade very moved. This kid, I'm going to give him a hard hug when I go back. Tsunade spoke proudly on purpose, with a relieved smile on her haggard face. She was strong and felt protected for the first time, which made her a little intoxicated. Although this kid is a bit stabbed, it's really powerful. I knew this disciple was so good, so I accepted it in advance. Jiraiya said enviously. You want to be beautiful, Hazuki is mine, you should never try to steal him. Tsunade smiled proudly, happy to have such a disciple. Let's go. When I go back, I want to advise the third generation old man to promote Hazuki to Chunin. This kid is so good, he's really lazy to be a genin like assaulted fish. Jiraiya said helplessly. You don't need to suggest, the third generation old man has already planned this, no matter what happens in Hazuki Chunin's exam, he will be promoted to Chunin, it is impossible for a genius to be buried. Okay, okay, don't show off, I know you have a good disciple. Jiraiya eats the taste. He originally thought that his disciple was very good, but compared with Hazuki, he felt that Namikaze Minato felt a little stupid no matter how he looked at it. No, I will continue to train Minato after I go back to improve his strength. Jiraiya vowed. Several people rested for a while, and after Tsunade's injury stabilized, they set off again and headed for Konoha village. Soup country. Kato Dan and Nawaki are walking in the mountains, looking for the bandit's lair. Teacher Kato Dan, do you really want to suggest to Hokage not to let Hazuki be a ninja? Nawaki asked worriedly. Yes, you have also seen how unreliable and disobedient he is in this mission. He stays in the hotel every day to flirt. Such a person is not qualified to be a ninja. Kato Dan said angrily. Can't we give him a chance? Ninjas are our ideal after all. Wouldn't it be too heartless to kill one's ideal like this? Nawaki couldn't bear it. What's so unrequited? The way came out by himself. Since he is so lazy, he can't stop me from reporting the facts. From the mission to the present, what is his behavior like a ninja? Kato Dan continued talking, looking very angry. He didn't want to be so heartless, but Hazuki didn't listen to all his orders. Such a person is not qualified to be a ninja at all. Teacher Kato Dan, just give Hazuki a chance. Nawaki said again, unable to bear Hazuki's ninja path cut off. Nawaki, you must understand that you almost died in this mission. If the bandits hadn't left suddenly, you might have been buried here forever. So I must report it truthfully, and even suggest to your sister to let her give up this disciple and completely cut off this person's path as a ninja. Kato Dan continued, looking very angry. But, but, Nawaki still wanted to speak for Hazuki, but was interrupted directly. Okay, that's all for now, let's continue looking for the thief's nest. Kato Dan said and moved on. Ah, Nawaki sighed and could only follow silently. The two continued to search according to the information, and soon came to the bandit's stronghold. But looking at the bandit's lair that had turned into a barren land, and the terrifying gap that stretched for several miles, they were completely dumbfounded. My mother, why is this? The information proves that this is the bandit's lair, why is there no more? Could it be that it has been flattened? This, this is so similar to the chasm outside Konoha village. Did the legendary strong man pass through here? Destroyed the bandit lair. It's possible, go go, go fast, this must be reported to Hokage as soon as possible. Kato Dan rushed down the mountain with Nawaki solemnly, and decided to return to Konoha as soon as possible to report the incident. Nawaki, who followed silently in the back, 
looked at the gap and thought of the previous terrifying roar, and he finally understood the reason why the bandits retreated. It turned out that the super strong saved my life, thank you so much. Nawaki said silently. The two of them are thinking about returning to the country of Yuno, and embark on the road of returning to Konoha together with Hazuki Makoto. But when Kato Dan wrote the mission report on the way, he clearly wrote one line, Hazuki is not recommended to be a ninja. Time passes by in a constant hurry. Hazuki and the others went through a long journey and consumed a lot of time, and finally they were not far from Konoha village. Hazuki, who was lying on the back of the big bison, and Mizuki who was lying on the back of the lovely Makoto, enjoyed her massage, squinting and looking at the sky comfortably. But at this moment, Hazuki turned to look northwest. What's the matter, Hazuki bro? Aware of Hazuki's situation, Makoto's massage hand stopped and spoke with a puzzled expression. It's okay, I just found Tsunade and the others. Hazuki replied lightly. Who did you say you found? My sister. Not far away, Nawaki heard Hazuki's words and hurried over to ask. Yes, your sister, and Toad Sage, they should arrive at the Konoha gate at the same time as us. Hazuki said lightly. Really? Great, wait, didn't they go to the battlefield? Logically speaking, they should be in the land of rain. Nawaki was puzzled and couldn't understand the reason. You'll find out later. Hazuki didn't bother to explain, just turned around, buried his head in Makoto's arms and stopped talking. This, Nawaki scratched his head and wanted to continue asking, but seeing that Hazuki didn't want to say anything, he could only give up. With doubts, the crowd continued on their way. During this process, Nawaki looked left and right, but couldn't see Tsunade, Hazuki, did you really see my sister? You'll find out later, Hazuki snapped, all right. Nawaki was helpless and could only continue to wait while he was on his way. But after staying for a while and traveling for several kilometers, they still didn't see Tsunade, let alone Jiraiya. Nawaki was a little anxious and looked at Hazuki from time to time. Kato Dan, who was next to him, had already leaked a suspicious look, because the distance they had traveled was beyond the observation range of the white-eyed, but they still didn't see Tsunade. This made Kato Dan even more suspicious, especially after everyone moved forward for a while and still didn't see Tsunade's figure, Kato Dan's suspicion became even stronger. Sure enough, he is an unreliable person. Ninjas are interdependent partners. Those who deceive their companions are absolutely not qualified to be ninjas. I must report this matter. Kato Dan shook his head secretly, making up his mind that this scourge would completely eliminate the ranks of ninjas and not affect other ninja companions. With determination, Kato Dan moved on, and soon came to the Konoha gate, and as he expected, did not see anyone. Kato Dan wanted to say something, but he didn't know what to say, his eyes suddenly widened, and he looked northwest in disbelief. Whoosh whoosh, several figures flashed past, and the slightly embarrassed Tsunade and Jiraiya group appeared at the Konoha gate. Nawaki, Hazuki, you guys are back too. Sister, it's really you, Hazuki's detection ability is too strong, he is indeed the Hyuga family. Nawaki shouted happily. But Kato Dan's face was solemn, and his eyes looked at Hazuki from time to time. Because Kato Dan clearly knows that Hazuki's detection range is definitely beyond the observation range of white eyes, and belongs to a stronger perception ability. Master has such a strong perception ability, and he doesn't care about the task at all, no matter how strong such a person is, he is not qualified to be a ninja. Kato Dan was very dissatisfied with Hazuki, and after making a secret decision in his heart, he turned and walked towards Tsunade. Sir Tsunade, I have something I want to mention to you. I suggest you give up this Hazuki. People like him are not qualified to be ninjas or your disciples. Kato Dan watched Tsunade jump quickly, and hurriedly stepped forward to talk. What did you say? Give up Hazuki. Tsunade was very happy when he saw Hazuki, and his haggard face turned bloody, ready to give Hazuki a hug and thank Hazuki for saving his life. But at this time, someone came out to tell her to give up Hazuki, and also said that Hazuki was not qualified to be a ninja, which made Tsunade angry. She stared at each other angrily and said, What nonsense are you talking about? I'm not talking nonsense, there is a big problem with Hazuki's character, he can't be a ninja, this is the details of the mission I recorded, you can understand it by looking at it. After Kato Dan finished speaking, 
he handed over the mission report and prepared to advise Tsunade to remove Hazuki's identity as a ninja. But at this time, just when he handed out the mission report, the opposite Tsunade actually slapped his mission report on the ground. Shut up, my disciple of Tsunade will not allow you to slander, get out. Tsunade roared, stepped on the mission report, and walked towards Hazuki with a cold snort. Bang! With excitement Tsunade held Hazuki in his arms and gave him a big hug. Thank you Hazuki, thank you so much. Tsunade said gratefully, he didn't care about the difference between men and women, and even regardless of Hazuki's height, he could barely reach her shoulders. Hey, a little boring, what are you doing? Hazuki tried to push Tsunade away with a dark face, but was hugged tightly again. This, Hazuki was helpless and didn't bother to pay attention to this stupid woman. The other side, Jiraiya and others looked at this scene with a smile, they actually wanted to give Hazuki a hug and thank this little devil who turned the tide. After all, without Hazuki's detonating talisman, they would definitely cut more than half of their staff, damage many of their companions, and even they themselves might not survive. So they didn't speak at the moment, they all looked at this scene with photosensitive. Only Kato Dan, Nawaki, and Makoto stood still, dumbfounded, wondering why Tsunade was so emotionally unstable. Makoto didn't say anything, but looked at Hazuki warmly, and she guessed vaguely that Hazuki must have done something that moved Tsunade. But, Kato Dan on the other side was furious. He picked up the mission report that he was trampled on the ground and said angrily. HMPH, I think you are Princess Senju and have always respected you, but you are so selfish and take care of your disciple, I misunderstood you. Kato Dan finished speaking with fire-breathing eyes, turned around and walked towards the village, he decided to report the matter to Hokage, and asked Hokage to decide. And third Hokage is here, I will never give up on this matter, right and wrong, everyone understands in their hearts, there is absolutely no tolerance for such a black sheep. Kato Dan said angrily, his impression of Chiba Tsunade and others was greatly reduced. At the same time, he was also very depressed. He clearly followed the correct approach and made an evaluation of the task without any personal emotions mixed in, but why did it turn out like this? The legendary Tsunade and Jiraiya, who had always been impartial and selfless, had such a strange attitude at this moment that he couldn't figure it out. But he won't give up, with Hokage-sama around, he will definitely let the black sheep like Hazuki get rid of the ninja ranks. Furious, Kato Dan rushed towards the Konoha village, targeting Hokage's office. Hokage office, whizzing, the two Anbu saluted respectfully and spoke quickly. Hokage-sama, Tsunade, Hazuki and Kato Dan are back, but something is not right. It seems that Hazuki's performance in this mission has caused Kato Dan's dissatisfaction. Dissatisfied, it seems that this kid Hazuki is still planning to mess around, this is not good, even if he does nothing in the mission, he must be promoted to Chunin. After Sarutobi Hirazan finished speaking, he waved his hand for Anbu to leave, while he looked at the documents on the table in silence. The situation is not good. The Kingdom of Wind and the Kingdom of Earth have secretly formed an alliance. The Kingdom of Thunder is coveting, and the Hanzo of the Salamander of the Kingdom of Rain is even more powerful. Is the real war finally about to start? Sarutobi Hirazan sighed and prepared to mobilize the important forces in the village to go to the front line to support the army of the Orochimaru front line, so as to preserve the advantage of the front line. At this time, Kato Dan rushed to the bottom of the Hokage office building, ready to sue Hazuki. Outside Konoha village, Hazuki broke free from Tsunade's arms, glanced helplessly at the stupid woman and said, Are you happy? Humph. Tsunade mixed Hazuki's little face, even though she was haggard, but seeing Hazuki's cold appearance, she still couldn't help but mix it up. Cough cough, Tsunade, you were a little too aggressive just now. I know that Kato Dan is a very responsible person. I guess Hazuki is too stubborn and annoyed him. Jiraiya walked over and spoke, looking at Hazuki with helplessness. What if he has a sense of responsibility? I am Tsunade's disciple, and no one but me is qualified to care. Tsunade spoke loudly, with a very strong attitude. Apparently going through a series of events, Tsunade sees Hazuki more and more seriously, even if others say bad words. You, you, protect this kid too much. Jiraiya is helpless, 
but he understands Chiba's character and knows that Hazuki will never do bad things except for being a bit thorny, so he still supports Hazuki very much. Come on, go to Hokage's office, let's hand over the task. Jiraiya waved her hand and motioned everyone to the Hokage office. The group walked together and soon came to the downstairs of the Hokage office, only to see Kato Dan waiting there, seemingly blocked by Anbu. Now that they're here, can I go in? Kato Dan stared at Anbu stiffly. Okay, please come in. Anbu indicated that the pig face mask he was wearing was particularly attractive. Let's go in too. Tsunade beckoned, and the crowd filed in. Only Hazuki turned to look at him as he passed by the pig face masked figure, and then stepped into the Hokage office building. Call, the figure with the pig face mask quietly looked at the empty doorway, feeling a little depressed. Sure enough, he knew it was me, and he was stronger again. The pig face mask figure sighed. Can the students I teach be strong? A slender figure flashed past, wearing a fox mask, and his voice was very clear. Yazzie, your families have been arranged. This time, I'm going to the front line. I'm afraid it will be very dangerous. The pig face masked figure said. Well, everything is arranged. If I can come back alive, I will continue to return to the ninja academy to be a teacher. The fox masked woman said. Okay, let's go. Walk, whizzing, Hokage office. Sarutobi Hirazan looked at the mission report with footprints, and his old face turned black. No way. The content of the mission report was too speechless, even if Sarutobi Hirazan wanted to protect Hazuki, it was a little hard to watch. Bull riding, outings, flirting, and eating delicious food every day. Staying in the hotel, completely ignoring the task, and even leaning on the legs of the beautiful women, one after another, one by one, it is simply not to be too irritating. Sarutobi Hirazan took a deep breath and thought about how to help Hazuki through this incident, after all, Kato Dan's opinion was too big. Lord Hokage, this is what Hazuki does, someone like him can't be a ninja, I suggest removing him as a ninja. Kato Dan said angrily, his emotions were very intense. Actually, Hazuki is a good kid. After all, it's understandable to ride a bull after walking such a long distance. Sarutobi Hirazan coughed and made an excuse. What? Kato Dan was stunned for two seconds and didn't react for a while. Originally, he thought that Sarutobi Hirazan would scold Hazuki angrily, but how could it be understandable? And why only mention about riding a bull, not about Hazuki's refusal to participate in the mission? Kato Dan had a bad feeling in his heart, but he continued to insist. But what about the mission? He didn't participate in the mission at all, Nawaki and I were busy the whole time, and Hazuki didn't listen to any orders. Ahem, Hazuki is still young after all. Those bandits are so powerful, it's actually a correct way to protect yourself. Sarutobi Hirazan said with a thick face. What? Kato Dan suspects that he heard it wrong, that Hokage is so protective of Hazuki, which is really inconsistent. As the image of Hokage. Kato Dan's heart was full of anger, and he held back his anger and came up with a reason again. Hazuki is very strong and has super perception ability, he even developed S-class ninjutsu. With such a strong strength, how could he not be able to defeat the bandit? He was just escaping the mission, so he was definitely not suitable for being a ninja. Kato Dan said the most important point, he believed. After Hokage knew that Hazuki had great strength, and knew that Hazuki was still evading the mission, he would definitely be angry and remove Hazuki from the ninja ranks. What? What did you say? Hazuki actually developed S-class ninjutsu. Jiraiya next to him hurriedly said. Hazuki, did you really develop S-class ninjutsu? Tsunade also came over and asked, looking at Hazuki very solemnly. Yes, the name is Reikiri. Hazuki said lightly. See, he has admitted it. If he can develop this level of ninjutsu, how can he be weak? He is just escaping. Kato Dan said, finally relieved, because he knew that Hazuki was about to be eliminated from the ninja ranks. Okay, Hazuki, you have developed S-rank ninjutsu. It's too strong. In order to reward you, I will promote you as Chunin today. Sarutobi Hirazan laughed. What? Promote Chunin? Kato Dan was dumbfounded, wondering if he had heard it wrong, and his mind was a little bit overwhelmed for a while. Jiraiya heard Sarutobi Hirazan's words and knew that it was protecting Hazuki, but it was too exaggerated. 
so he glanced at Sarutobi Hiruzen, motioning him to not just protect Hazuki, at least be a little more normal. Not only did Jiraiya signal, but Tsunade and others also had black lines on their foreheads, and even Hazuki glanced at Sarutobi Hiruzen. Sarutobi Hiruzen blushed at the sight of others, knowing that what he said was too much, so he hurriedly changed his words. Of course, given that Hazuki's mission is a little bit wrong, there's no reward or punishment, well, that's it. After Sarutobi Hiruzen finished speaking, he felt that his IQ began to decline after he met Hazuki, and in order not to lose his temper, he continued, that's it, let's go out, Jiraiya and Tsunade stay. Yes, Hokage-sama. After a while, the entrance to the Hokage building. Kato Dan looked at Hazuki, who left dashingly, looking at his still high and indifferent attitude. Thinking of Hokage-sama's words, Kato Dan's worldview collapsed. What is happening? Even if Tsunade is protecting Hazuki, how come even Hokage-sama is protecting him? He is Hokage, Hokage, Konoha's most just person. Quote. Kato Dan felt that his head was not turned around, and he even doubted life. I don't believe that I can't find a place to reason, I go to Elder Danzo, this matter must be resolved justly. Kato Dan still didn't give up and decided to go to Danzo to report the matter. The other side, Hazuki looked at Nawaki who was following him and said, I said, can you stop following me? I'm going home now. Hazuki, don't be so cold, can you talk about Reikiri? It's better to demonstrate it. Nawaki asked curiously. He is now more and more curious about Hazuki, S-class ninjutsu, even his old sister can't create it. No, don't bother me. Hazuki took Makoto and nodded and left, unwilling to pay attention to the kid. Hey, wait for me. Nawaki still didn't give up, like a follower. They walked for a few minutes, and a group of majestic ninjas appeared in front of them. The one who took the lead was the Konoha Pot King Danzo, who seemed to be in a good mood, even with a smile. Ding. Encountered with Danzo, the king of Konoha Pot, do you want to open the mixed selection mode? Mixed selection mode. Seems like a fun one, turn it on. Hazuki nodded. Ding. Please choose. 1. Normal mode. Face-to-face -face evaluation of Danzo's appearance is normal. Reward. Water style water dragon bomb. 2. Compliment mode. Face-to-face -face evaluation of Danzo's handsome appearance. Reward. Earth style wonkwanuma. 3. Thorn Head Mode, Face-to-Face -face Evaluation Danzo is a pig's kidney face, Reward, 10% Blowing Snow Template plus a small amount of chakra. Note, Praise Mode may get Danzo's favor, Thorn Mode may lead to Danzo hostility, please choose as appropriate. Praise Danzo, Want to eat shit, Hazuki swept through the god level options and chose the third option without hesitation. Ding, After the selection is complete, Come on, Master. Ignoring the system's voice, Hazuki pointed at Danzo who was passing by, and said, this man is so ugly, he actually has a pig kidney face. After Hazuki finished speaking, he ignored everyone's reaction and continued to walk forward. That Danzo was walking majestically with a smile, but he was a little confused when he said that. The words pig kidney face appeared in his mind, his smile froze for a moment, and his face turned from blue to black. He squinted at Hazuki and the others who were walking away, and turned to the subordinate beside him. No 5, this person is handed over to you, I don't want him to see the sun tomorrow. But, but Danzo-sama, this person can't move. No 5 hurriedly said. Can't move, HMPH, even Nawaki, I dare to move, what else I dare not. Danzo snorted coldly and didn't care who the other party was. He had done too many things over the years, including John and several, not to mention a kid. Danzo-sama, do you remember what Kashina-sama asked to investigate? Of course, I'm just happy because of this matter, as long as I do it well for Kashina, maybe I can accept her as a disciple, and with her support at that time, this Konoha will be my world. Danzo said happily, with a light called ambition in his eyes. In recent years, he has flattered Kashina several times, but Kashina ignored him at all. But just now, Juksen Nai suddenly asked him to investigate a kid named Hazuki, and the more detail the better. However, Kashina also said that he must have a good attitude towards Hazuki. This makes Danzo very strange, he has a vague feeling that Kashina may like that kid named Hazuki. Strange, why did that kid look familiar just now? 
Danzo mumbled in confusion. Lord Danzo, he is Hazuki, who Kashina asked to investigate. What did you say? He's Hazuki, Misty Grass. Danzo's eyes widened instantly, and he uttered foul language. Why didn't you say it earlier? You want to kill me? Danzo said angrily. Sir, you only read his documents this morning. No five couldn't help but reply. You, Danzo was furious and wanted to kick this subordinate in both feet, but he blamed himself for this. After all, he was too eye-catching and never looked at others, so he didn't recognize Hazuki. So, Danzo is not easy to get angry, but he is very uncomfortable, and he wants to find someone to yell. He walked forward with a gloomy face, when suddenly another person came across from the opposite side. Lord Danzo, this is Kato Dan, and I have something important to report regarding the injustice of Hokage. Hokage's injustice. Danzo was stunned for a moment, and immediately became interested, can you tell me what's going on? Lord Danzo, there is a kid named Hazuki who has a very bad behavior. I reported it to Hokage, but he ignored it. It is really unfair. After Kato Dan finished speaking, he handed a document to Danzo and motioned him to check it. Who are you calling bad behavior? Hazuki. Danzo's face was terrifyingly gloomy. Yes, you're cheating on me, you're Sarutobi Hirazan who came to cheat me, Danzo cursed angrily, squinting at the Hokage office building. Sarutobi Hirazan, you are tough enough, good good, I remember. Danzo had planned to go to Hokage's office, but he didn't go now, he just turned around and left. Only Kato Dan was left standing blankly, motionless like a fool. Quite a while, Kato Dan finally recovered, he felt that his three views had been destroyed. He clearly knew that Danzo was Hokage's nemesis, and it stands to reason that Danzo would never help Hazuki, but the result was unimaginable. Why is this happening? Why is everyone helping Hazuki? It's a no-brainer. Hayuga Family Station, Lively Street. Hazuki walked ahead holding Makoto's little hand, Nawaki chattering beside him. Ding. Congratulations to the master for completing the task, reward, blowing snow template 10% plus a small amount of chakra. Ding. Hayuga Hazuki. Intermediate Sage Body. Shueji. Ice Escape, White Eyes. Template. 40% Saatama Template. 70% Blowing Snow Template, 30% Tornado Template. Evaluation. Ninjutsu Master, the great demon king who destroys the world. The sound of the system reappeared, and a warm current like a hot spring swept through Hazuki's body and mind. He didn't pay too much attention to the system's voice, but continued to move forward with a calm expression. Hazuki, teach me Reikiri, the ninjutsu you developed is so handsome, if I can learn it, it will definitely attract the attention of many girls. Nawaki continued chattering, buzzing around Hazuki like flies. I said no, don't follow. Hazuki frowned, just teach me, please. Nawaki still didn't give up. Follow me and kick you again. Hazuki looked at Nawaki with a slightly dangerous look. I'm, well, well, really sorry. Nawaki was helpless and could only watch Hazuki leave. Pity. Nawaki shook his head and planned to go back to Tsunade to intercede and see if he could learn Reikiri through Tsunade's relationship. Nawaki, you just said that Hazuki developed ninjutsu. A figure came out from the side and stood in front of Nawaki and asked. This person was none other than Hayuga Hazashi who became Chunin. After several years of practice, his strength is not what it used to be, and he is also looking forward to a battle with Hazuki. It was just a few days ago that he heard that Hazuki summoned Dakatsuyu to defeat Namikaze Minato. After evaluating his strength, he believed that he was no match for Hazuki for the time being, so he planned to continue his efforts. But at this time, he was a little curious when he heard Nawaki say that Hazuki developed ninjutsu. Yeah, Hazuki did develop ninjutsu, and it's still a very powerful ninjutsu. Nawaki said, with a hint of admiration in his eyes. What kind of powerful ninjutsu? Tell me now, Hayuga Hazashi asked curiously. It is a kind of thunder ninjutsu, its name is Reikiri, the rating is S rank, and it is named after Hazuki cut off thunder and lightning. Nawaki continued speaking, his eyes lit slightly when he mentioned the word Reikiri. S class ninjutsu, named after cutting off thunder and lightning. Hayuga Hazashi was stunned, feeling that what Nawaki said was so untrue. You know, Hazuki has just graduated from the ninja school and hasn't even had time to take the Chunin exam. 
but at such a young age, it is too fake to develop S-level ninjutsu. With suspicion Hayuga Hazashi continued, you are telling the truth. Hazuki really developed S-class ninjutsu. Sure, am I kidding about this? That's something even Hokage knows. Nawaki said with oath, and in order to increase his credibility, he said again, this matter will spread in a few days, and then you will know. Nawaki ignored Hayuga Hazashi's reaction, turned around and walked home. In place, only Hayuga Hazashi fell into deep silence. S-class ninjutsu, are you already strong to this extent? Hayuga Hazashi sighed, feeling that it was time to change the target he was chasing in the future. Forget it, let's go back and talk to the big brother about this. It happened that he was thinking of challenging Hazuki so that he would also be hit by this incident. After Hayuga Hiyashi finished speaking, he turned around and headed home. The living room of Hazuki's house. Hazuki, who was lying on his back on the sofa, was thinking about the next mission route. The golden horn and the silver horn are dead. He should have descendants who can extract the corresponding blood. The other is the Wei Yoruichi clan, which is dead bone pulse. Hazuki suddenly thinks of the future Kimamaro, this amazing teenager. At the beginning, Kimamaro was alone against Naruto, and then against Shaoli and Gara. His powerful strength can be said to be obvious to all, but it is a pity that he died prematurely because of jealousy. If he can grow up, he will be a very tyrannical character, and his bone ability is very similar to the tyrannical trick of the future Otsutsuki Kegaya. This ability can be said to be quite heaven-defying, any target hit by it will collapse, even Yin Yang escape or impure world reincarnation will be helpless. It can be said that this ability is a bit too strong. One blow wipes out the complete body Susa, and one blow kills Obito. The terrifying strength is undoubtedly demonstrated. In terms of speed, it is also very good, but the attack distance is short, but this ability is still a powerful and terrifying move. I don't know why the total killing of Ashes is so strong. If it hits, it will collapse, which is a bit interesting. Hazuki is very curious, thinking about the future, after transforming into the Otsutsuki clan, he must study this ability carefully. Let's extract the blood first, then go to the land of thunder and the land of water to find the blood of the two races, just use shadow clone. Hazuki thought for a while. In fact, whether it is an experiment or going to other countries to get blood, it can be done through shadow clone. But this is his important fun, and it can't be robbed by Shadow Clone, and at most part of it will be handed over to Shadow Clone. For example, when you go out to the Land of Thunder and the Land of Water, you can throw it to Shadow Clone. Thinking of it, Hazuki quickly casts Shadow Clone technique in a blink of an eye. Bang bang, the two capitals appeared and stood quietly in the living room. Hazuki looked at Shadow Clone and said, Let's call Shadow Clone No One and Number Two. I'll take the blood and give it to you, let's go. Yes, whizzing, two shadow clone flashed quickly and disappeared quickly. Only Hazuki on the sofa was left in the living room, quietly listening to the humming ditty from the study. This girl's singing is very nice. Hazuki muttered and stood up, ready to take a good bath. Girl, girl, where is my bathrobe? Hazuki-san, wait for me. Makoto's nice voice came from the study, and soon she ran out with her little feet, and then quickly got into the bedroom to get the bathrobe. Brother Hazuki for you, put the changed clothes in the clothes basket, I'll wash it for you in a while. Makoto entrusts him like a little wife. Quote dot dot dot, got it, I'm going. Hazuki took the bathrobe and went to the washing room. Wait a minute, I'll put the water for you first, and then measure the water temperature. It's okay, I can do it myself. No, brother Hazuki secretly used cold water last time, it's not good for his health, brother Hazuki has to be obedient. Makoto said earnestly with a small waist. All right all right, Hazuki had no choice but to go with this girl. Next, Hazuki watched Makoto bustling around, watching her test the water temperature from time to time, and after confirming that everything was in order, he nodded his head. Okay, Hazuki bro, you can go. Um, Hazuki nodded and headed to the washing room to start taking a bath quietly. Not to mention, Makoto's water temperature is really good, it is a comfortable temperature for the human body, Hazuki soaked in it for a while, and even narrowed his eyes. Certainly, the water temperature will definitely drop over time, but Makoto remembers the time and will always come in at the most appropriate time to add new hot water, which is considered ultimate. 
After taking a good bath, Hazuki yawned back to the bedroom, lying on the tatami and wanted to sleep. Brother Hazuki is tired, rest early. Makoto tidied up the bedding and covered it with care of Hazuki. Ding, please choose. 1. Follow Makoto's words, choose to rest and sleep, reward, earth style. 2. Reject Makoto's words, and don't sleep, reward, fire style, dragon fire technique. 3. Immediately show your thorn mode, reward, Chidori's large number of derivative ninjutsu. Hazuki, who was ready to rest, heard the sound of the system, and quickly searched for the god level selection, and quickly locked the third item. Chidori's massive derivative ninjutsu. Hazuki pondered slightly, and quickly understood what this represented. That is Chidori Ryu, Chidori Sharp Spear, Chidori Chibin, Chidori Blade, etc. Ninjutsu, which is a good derivative ability feather. Without any hesitation, Hazuki quickly chose the third item, and looked at Makoto next to him. What's the matter, Hazuki bro? Aware of Hazuki's gaze, Uchiha Makoto was very puzzled, and even raised a small hand to lightly mold Hazuki's forehead. It's okay, rest with me tonight, Hazuki said suddenly. E.H., Uchiha Makoto was stunned for a moment, his small ears instantly turned red, and the whole person was shy and a little unsteady. In fact, she really wanted to refuse, but she didn't want Hazuki to feel a little bit of loss, so she could only lower her head in a tangled state, and clutch the corner of her clothes with her little hands. Yeah. Chapter 91. Hazuki's big hand suddenly appeared, lifted Uchiha Makoto onto the tatami, and hugged him directly. Okay, go to sleep. Hazuki said something warmly, and at the same time a green light shone, and the quilt next to him floated up, and finally gently covered the two of them. Soft, blended, fragrant, Hazuki stroked Makoto's long smooth hair, closing his eyes quietly. Ding. Congratulations to Master for completing the task, reward, Chidori's massive derivative ninjutsu. Ignoring the sound of the system, Hazuki gradually fell asleep in a warm atmosphere. Only, Uchiha Makoto was curled up and didn't dare to move, just like a little dumb cat, staring at Hazuki's profile foolishly. At this moment, she only felt that her whole body was hot and hot, her big eyes were also watery, and her shyness was evident. But even so shy, in order not to affect Hazuki's brother's mood, she did not choose to leave, but let Hazuki embrace her to sleep, just like a real couple, hugging each other to sleep. The other side, Hayuga Hiyashi's home. It is night now, but Hayuga Hiyashi is still practicing in his small courtyard, trying to improve his strength. Bang bang bang. The sound of beating reverberated, roaming in the small courtyard with the strong wind. Eight trigrams palms revolving heaven. Hayuga Hiyashi spun suddenly, and the spherical eight trigrams palms revolving heaven condensed, blooming in the small courtyard with tyrannical power. Wuhu, so strong, Lord Hiyashi is getting stronger and stronger, and his strength has caught up with the patriarch at a young age. Yes, in the past few years, Mr. Hiyashi's strength has improved very fast, and he is indeed a genius. With Hiyashi-sama's strength, he is also a top figure in our Hayuga clan, and even the older generation is no match. Several members of the Hayuga clan who were in charge of the guard talked a lot and admired Hayuga Hiyashi's strength. The voices of these people were also heard by Hayuga Hiyashi, who was practicing. Although he was not superficially elated, he also had stronger self-confidence. Persistence, praise, and strength are important conditions for self-confidence. He relies on his own strength to successfully make himself stronger and more confident. Call. After the practice, Hayuga Hiyashi wiped the sweat from his head with a towel and prepared to leave with strong confidence, when suddenly he saw a person walking in. Why are you here, Hazashi? Hayuga Hiyashi could clearly see the questioning question of the person who came. Brother, I have something to tell you, you come with me. Hayuga Hazashi said hurriedly. What's so serious about it? Brother, come with me. What's so mysterious? Hayuga Hiyashi shook his head, feeling helpless for this younger brother. But he did not refuse, but followed him to the pavilion next to him. Tell me, why are you so cautious? It's about Hazuki, he's up again. Hazuki, needless to say, I already know about this, isn't it just summoning summoning beasts? Don't worry, I understand. Hayuga Hiyashi waved his hand, not too concerned about it. He had already thought about it, when he turned back to challenge Hazuki, 
the two sides couldn't rely on external force, that is, they couldn't use summoning beasts. So relying solely on his own strength, Hayuga Hiyashi has absolute confidence to fight against Hazuki. Even relying on the fighting experience of the past few years, he completely defeated Hazuki and took back his glory. Thinking of the scene where he challenged Hazuki last time and was kicked in the air, Hayuga Hiyashi's teeth itch with anger. Go back, Hazashi, and when Hazuki comes back from the mission, I will have a good fight with him and let him understand what true strength is. Hayuga Hiyashi spoke confidently, with a strong fighting spirit all over his body. But big brother, Hazuki is back today, and Hazuki is back, that's right, I'll challenge him tomorrow, Hayuga Hiyashi said proudly. But he's stronger again, and strength again, it's because the combat experience has improved, don't worry, he is still a lot worse than us, how dangerous the battle of Archunin is, and the combat experience required is not what Genin can imagine. Hayuga Hiyashi is full of confidence and doesn't care that Chiyu has some fighting experience, and even the confident smile on his face has never changed. Brother, can you listen to me? Hayuga Hazashi said angrily. Okay, please tell me. Hayuga Hiyashi waved his hands indifferently, exuding a strong aura all over his body. Brother, I just got the news that Hazuki has developed S-Class Ninjutsu Reikiri, which is a terrifying ninjutsu that cuts off lightning with one blow. Isn't it S-Class Ninjutsu? What's so great? What did you say? S-Class Ninjutsu. One blow cuts off the lightning. How is this possible? Hayuga Hiyashi was dumbfounded, the confident smile on his face disappeared, and he stared at Hayuga Hazashi with his eyes wide open. It's true, even Hokage-sama knows about this, and Nawaki is begging him to learn Reikiri S-Rank Ninjutsu. Hayuga Hazashi quickly explained. S-Rank Ninjutsu Reikiri, cut off the lightning with one blow. How is this possible? How is this possible? That is S-Rank Ninjutsu. Hayuga Hiyashi murmured and stood on the spot in fright. His original confidence and pride were shattered by these words. His whole person exudes a decadent aura, and the aura of a strong man that he just exuded has long since disappeared, leaving only bitterness and sadness. He's obviously only a genin, he's obviously still so young, but he has developed this level of ninjutsu, you still let others live, and you let others live. Hayuga Hiyashi screamed in grief and indignation, quietly savoring the pain and calculation in his heart, and still a little hesitant. For a long time, Hayuga Hiyashi turned to leave, he needed to find a place to be quiet, calm his wounds like a lone wolf, and then wait to rise again. By the way, eldest brother, Hazuki has never regarded us as an opponent, I passed by him today, he didn't even look at him, he didn't know him at all. So, big brother, you don't need to challenge him, maybe if you challenge him, he doesn't even know who you are. Hayuga Hazashi said another sentence like rubbing salt on a wound, then hurriedly turned his head and left. In situ. Only Hayuga Hiyashi was left, staring at the sky miserably. He remembered that he challenged Hazuki last time and was misunderstood as Hayuga Hazashi. He didn't say anything about this, but at this moment it became the reason for him to be ignored. Am I not even qualified to be confronted by him? It's hateful, so hateful, Hayuga Hazuki, I don't accept it, I don't accept it. A desolate roar echoed in the small courtyard, and the collapsing sound attracted the attention of many Hyuga clan guards. They whispered in confusion, not understanding what was going on. Strange thing, what happened to Hiyashi-sama? It was fine just now. Yeah, this emotional change is too big, who has the ability to break down Hiyashi-sama? Looks like they're shouting Hyuga Hazuki, they don't seem to have anything to do with each other. The guards couldn't figure it out didn't understand what was going on. Want to know why? Hayuga Hazashi suddenly came over. Hazashi-sama, do you know the situation? Of course, in fact, Hiyashi pretended to be me to challenge Hazuki, and was kicked by Hazuki. He always remembered this and wanted to challenge Hazuki, but then came the best news. The Japanese line Hazashi paused, deliberately losing his appetite. Hazashi-sama, please tell me, what's the best news? Is this information breaking Hiyashi-sama? Hazashi-sama, don't make your appetite, hurry up. The guards looked forward to the questioning, urging Hayuga Hazashi to speak quickly. Hey hey, come closer, I'll tell you secretly. Hayuga Hazashi beckoned and whispered. 
Kazuki developed S-class ninjutsu by himself not long ago, and can cut off thunder and lightning with one blow, even Hokage was frightened, and Hayuga Hiyashi collapsed because of this. S-class ninjutsu. Developed alone. It's amazing. I heard that Hazuki summoned Dai Katsuyu some time ago, but I still don't believe it, it seems that he is a real genius. I didn't expect Hazuki's strength to be so strong, I really can't imagine it. The guards were talking and raving about Hazuki, but more importantly, remembering Hayuga Hiyashi pretending to be someone else and getting kicked in the air. They plan to share it well. Don't talk nonsense about this, remember. Don't worry, we won't say anything. Hayuga Hazashi laughed twice turned around and left, but no one noticed, he muttered a few words inwardly. Brother, your habit of talking in your sleep is not good, let alone pretending to be me secretly, we must seek truth from facts, he he. Hayuga Hazashi smiled with a black belly. He believed that it would not be more than three days, and absolutely everyone in the tribe knew about this matter, and then everything would be revealed. It's so blue. Hayuga Hazashi left in a good mood. But the two guards nearby looked at the starry night, and three black lines appeared on their foreheads at the same time. Today, both adults Hiyashi and Hazashi are not normal. I think so. Time passed slowly, and a few days passed in a blink of an eye. Early in the morning, in Hazuki's laboratory. After drinking three more tubes of purified medicine in a row, Hazuki felt the changes in his body and closed his eyes silently. But at this moment, his body shook suddenly, and his eyes widened quickly. Next second, he has come to the mirror and looked carefully at his eyes in the mirror. No, it's obviously not successful, and it's obviously not reaching the bloodline limit, why is this happening? What's going on? Hazuki looked at his hands and spoke in disbelief with joy, and then he walked to the living room with deep anticipation. Girl, let me go out and wait. Brother Hazuki, come back early, you've been working too hard these days, you'll be exhausted. Makoto put down the clothes he was sewing, walked to Hazuki with small feet, and lightly arranged the clothes for him, with some distressed concern. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Hazuki kissed Makoto's sweet lips, and in her shyness, he stepped out of the house. When he appeared again, he had come to an unknown area outside Konoha village. I'm really looking forward to it, let me feel the new changes and show me. Hazuki slapped the ground suddenly. Boom, boom. The earth roared, and the soil constructed of soil suddenly collapsed into a big pit, which was bottomless. Bang! A huge stone palm suddenly stretched out from the big pit and slammed it on the edge of the pit. That palm is very thick, a single finger is the size of a grinding disc, and it is covered with various twisted lines. Bang! Another huge stone palm stretched out and slammed it on the edge of the deep pit with a thousand strength, smashing a large number of stones. But it didn't end there. Because in the next second, a terrifying black shadow jumped out of the deep pit, rose into the sky with strong wind pressure, and fell to the ground from the air. Boom! The earth trembled, rocks and earth flew, and countless dust rippling, reflecting the huge figure in the dust was even more terrifying. It's a big stone statue enough to match the huge stone man of nine tails. It is also Tensagan's mysterious ability, a tyrannical monster with immortality. Roar. The roar shook the sky, stirring the air and rolling, like a gust of wind, and the raging surrounding trees swayed, announcing its arrival. Shut up. Bang. The big stone statue flew upside down, rolled for more than ten laps in a row, and finally stopped. Then, this tyrannical big stone statue just now, like a little daughter-in-law who was angry, ran over honestly. The majestic stone statue, which shook the earth when it was running, finally stood in front of Hazuki respectfully, not even daring to move, and was as obedient as a rabbit. Is this the ability I have acquired? It seems that my evolutionary direction is Tensagen, but my eyes have clearly not become Tensagen. Could it be that Tensagen's ability was awakened immediately? After I take the purification potion, will I continue to awaken? Hazuki looked at the terrifying stone man standing still, and fell into contemplation when he saw that it was a huge size comparable to nine tails. Maybe, my awakening method is different from Otsutsuki Shirin, or maybe my awakening method is more perfect. Hazuki pondered, frowning at the appearance of the large stone statue, because if he looked closely, the large stone statue looked a bit like him. This is a little different from what he imagined. 
The large stone statue in the original book is more like the ancestor of the Hyuga family, Yumura, the younger brother of Sage of Six Paths. When Otsutsuki awakened, he relied on other people's eyes, while Hazuki relied on his own bloodline for ascension. There is an essential difference between the two. In this way, Otsutsuki Shiran is more like borrowing power, and I rely on myself, then we can explain why our big stone statues are different in appearance. Hazuki murmured, although he could not be 100% sure, but the strong power in his blood told him that his path was not wrong. Don't think about it for now, try the strength of this big stone statue, I always feel that it is not the same as in the original book, come here. Roar, the big stone statue roared wildly and hurriedly knelt down on one knee. Interesting, Hazuki jumped lightly on the shoulder of the big stone statue, looked carefully, and then looked northwest. There are some bandits over there, look at your performance. Hazuki gestured and took out a patterned mask and put it on his face. Roar, the big stone statue roared wildly again, rushing towards the northwest with its heavy feet. Northwest orientation, a caravan is on the road. The leader was a girl who looked very weak, with a large number of guards guarding her, and there was even a ninja with short ears and short hair. Sister Wa, the value of the goods we transported this time is very high. We must be careful, but we must not make any mistakes. Nanako, the leader of the caravan, said. Don't worry Nanako, we've delivered so many times, it's absolutely fine, and besides, I'm a ninja. Sister Wa put on her short hair with keir ears, and assured her vigorously. By the way, isn't the Hazuki Hotel in Konoha a gourmet restaurant? Why does it collect ninjutsu and special materials? Sister Wa asked again. I don't know either. Nanako shook her head and continued. My father has been supplying them for several years, and it has always been food materials, but before I received a letter saying that they would collect special materials and ninjutsu scrolls, and they were in a hurry. Nanako couldn't figure it out, because many of those special materials were related to blood, and she didn't know why she collected these materials. Don't think about it if you can't figure it out, we can just complete the task and go. Ro, the team continued to set off, marching on the wide road. But after walking for a few minutes, a group of wandering ninjas armed with knives suddenly appeared and surrounded them. Those who took the lead were obviously stray ninjas with scarred faces, but the strange thing was that they looked sluggish, with yellow faces and thin skin. It's a wandering ninja. How come there are wandering ninjas here? This is trouble. Nanako looked at the outfit of the wandering ninja, her complexion changed slightly. If they encounter ordinary bandits, they are not afraid at all, because they have ninjas. But now, the enemy turned out to be a wandering ninja, then there would be big trouble. Ha ha ha, from the country of soup through the country of fire, you can still encounter such a big fish, this time you have a big hand. Captain, let's go after we grab it, the land of fire is not a place to stay for a long time. I know in my heart, we will go to the country of Chuan immediately after the robbery, with this money we can be at ease, ha ha ha. The scar-faced wandering ninja laughed and looked very happy. As expected of the captain, it really is the most correct to follow the captain. Yeah, if it wasn't for the hasty escape from the land of soup, we wouldn't be so hungry, hemp eggs, and we'll never eat bark again. It's good to be able to escape. At least we are still alive. Those who stayed in the old nest are all dead. As the wandering ninjas spoke, they shuddered as they recalled their old lair in the land of soup. Mad, the country of soup is too dangerous, I will never go to the country of soup again, and I will never go there for the rest of my life. Yes, yes, it's too dangerous. The wandering ninjas talked a lot, and some even started to tremble with fright. All shut up, grab the money first, and then we'll leave. The Scarface captain shouted loudly and turned to look at the caravan leader. Hand over all the food, goods, and money, and spare you all. Yes, hand it over, our boss is Jonan. Hurry up. The wandering ninjas shouted and showed off their power with weapons, but their appearance was a little funny with yellow faces and thin muscles. No, we are sending supplies to Konoha, are you sure you want to rob us? Nanako tried her best to remain calm. Although she was very scared, there was no accident in this shipment. The blood-related materials in it must be delivered within three days. Send supplies to Konoha. Send a shit, get out of here, or you will be slaughtered. Scarface roared. The last home we delivered is said to be the Hyuga family. 
Their reconnaissance ability is extremely strong. Are you sure you want to rob us? Nanako continued talking, hoping to scare away these people. The Hyuga clan. We are not even afraid of Konoha, will we be afraid of the Hyuga clan? If you have the ability to let him come, let's see if I dare to cut him. Captain Scarface continued to speak, with a dangerous light in his eyes. Exclamation mark. A vibration caused everyone to be puzzled, and they all looked at the woods in the southeast direction at the same time. Bang, bang, bang. The vibrations started to become more frequent, thicker, and more regular. What's the matter? Is someone fighting? Impossible, this sound is too regular. The wandering ninjas looked at the woods in doubt, and listened to the regular voice, puzzled. It's getting louder and louder, and something feels wrong. The earth seems to be shaking, what is going on here? Everyone hides, hides. Captain Scarface's face was solemn, and he chose to hide for the first time. Whoosh whoosh. The wandering ninja hid his figure and looked vigilantly in the southeast direction, his weapons tightly clenched together. What is that? It's so big. Nanako exclaimed, and the little girl turned into an O-shape. But no one answered her, because at this moment, everyone's eyes widened, and their eyes were full of astonishment. I saw from the southeast direction, a huge stone monster rushing towards them, crushing trees one by one with monstrous might, and rushing towards them like a tailed beast. That terrifying body shape, that body condensed by stones, that weight that shook the earth with every step, instantly terrified everyone. What kind of monster is this? Why is there such a thing here? I don't know, let's withdraw, why is the country of fire so dangerous? Let's go. Wait, you look at the shoulder of the stone monster, there is a person sitting there. What did you say? The wandering ninjas were not calm when they heard this, and they all looked at the shoulders of the stone monster, but it didn't matter, they were so frightened that they almost fell to the ground. Uh, there is really a man sitting on the shoulders of the big stone, and he looks like a teenager, especially the swaying calves, which proves that he is so leisurely. That gesture, as if he was on an outing, was startling, but the purple pattern mask that the boy was wearing made him look very mysterious. The strange picture formed by this kind of power and leisurely frightened the wandering ninjas to tense their bodies, not daring to make any strange noises, for fear of causing death. Bang bang bang. The loud noise still roared regularly, and it even came to them. Just when the wandering ninjas thought that the stone monster was about to leave, the bang bang stopped abruptly. What? A cold voice came from above the stone monster, and the voice was very magnetic, but the wandering ninjas felt a chill in their hearts. It's really a coincidence. Hazuki looked at the caravan's goods, at the materials, and at the scar-faced bandit hidden behind the tree, which he found very interesting. Originally, he didn't care after discovering the bandits, and he didn't bother to care, but after walking in, he found that they were bandits fleeing from Tang Zhiguo. Judging by their appearance, they had a miserable life. Forget it, test the strength of the big stone statue, you are unlucky. The words fall. Under everyone's astonished eyes, Hazuki's whole body appeared green light, and then floated gently into the air, looking down at the bottom indifferently, looking down at everyone. Ding. Please choose. 1. Order the big stone statue to move freely, check its free combat power, reward, mental power increased by 10%. 2. Half control the action of the big stone statue, check its judgment against the enemy, reward, physical fitness increased by 10%. 3. Completely control the action of the big stone statue, check its control, and reward, chakra increases by 10% plus a small amount of chakra. The mechanical voice came in his mind, and Hazuki, who was about to act, paused slightly and carefully checked the god level options. The rewards are almost the same, so let's use the exclusion method. Let's exclude the third item first. I have enough chakra, so there is no need to choose it, so which one should I choose next? Hazuki quickly swept through the first two choices and quickly settled on the first. Without opening a template, illusion is a problem, then I choose spiritual power. Hazuki made a quick choice. Ding. After the selection is complete, come on, master. Ignoring the system's voice, Hazuki ordered to the big stone statue below, go, move freely, let me see your combat effectiveness. Roar. The big stone statue suddenly roared, and after receiving the order, it no longer had to suppress itself, with the fierceness that swept everything, like a huge armored vehicle, rushing towards the bandits. 
Run. The scar-faced bandit was so frightened that all the souls of the dead ran away, and the speed was n times faster than that of the rabbit. Whoosh whoosh. The wandering ninjas were also frightened and ran for their lives in eight directions at the same time. This method really worked. The mighty big stone statue, although it can easily kill these wandering ninjas, lacks long-range ability, and wants to kill all the wandering ninjas at the same time, it will consume a lot of time. Boom boom boom. The big stone statue roared, and the stout stone fist crashed down, smashing a wandering ninja to death, and at the same time strode out across the giant foot, with unmatched power, slammed into a ninja. Puff, blood sprayed, dyeing the green forest red, the ninja died in despair, and was directly hit by a blow. Roar, the big stone statue roared, and with its overwhelming power, it easily killed most of the wandering ninjas, but a few people still escaped. Bang bang bang. The big stone statue took a step and made a charge action, as if intending to chase down those wandering ninjas and cut the grass. All right. Above the sky, Hazuki floated quietly, waving his hands in awe of the caravan's eyes. It's too weak, you have no long-range attack, you can only be a tank, I'm so disappointed. Hazuki frowned, and his voice couldn't hide his disappointment. Although this big stone statue was immortal and could fight against nine tails, it couldn't release tailed beast bomb and could only be a tank. For such a tasteless stone statue, Hazuki can only continue to increase the blood concentration to see if it can be transformed. With a trace of loss, Hazuki floated into the distance and disappeared into the sky under the awe-inspiring eyes of the caravan. Bang! The big stone statue sits on the ground decadently, and without being recognized, it is like an abandoned little beast, helpless, weak, and pitiful. In the end, in the loss, it turned into dust and disappeared. In place, only the caravan people were left, gulping wildly. Sister Wa, you are a ninja, is this stone monster so bad? Why do I think it is super powerful, and why is it rejected? The caravan leader Nanako asked suspiciously, feeling that her worldview was somewhat impacted. More than that, those wandering ninjas are very powerful. The leader is Jonin, and the rest are special Jonin and Chunin. All of them are extremely terrifying, but... But such a powerful wandering ninja can't even take a single blow from the stone monster. This stone person is simply heaven-defying. The ninja returned tremblingly. Why is the stone monster rejected? It's so powerful. The caravan leader continued. Maybe the masked man is more terrifying. Sister Ninja Flower trembled as she spoke, and a deep sense of inferiority surged in her heart. She was also a ninja, but she was only a genin. Those stray ninjas who were killed were several times stronger than her. But, the wandering ninja, who was several times stronger than her, was killed by the stone monsters like chickens, which is enough to prove how powerful the stone people are. But such a tyrannical stone monster was actually disliked by the young man for being weak, and this result made the female ninja begin to doubt life. Is the ninja world so strong now? Can't I keep up with the times? Obviously I am an important fighting force in the caravan, why is this happening? The female ninja murmured, slumped on the ground in shock, completely unable to understand how absurd the scene in front of her was. Not only she couldn't understand it, but the entire caravan couldn't understand it. They are just ordinary guards, and they are in awe of the female ninjas, not to mention the stone monsters whose strength is immeasurable. And the masked man flying in the sky, they no longer know how to evaluate it, because they feel that they don't even have the qualifications to evaluate. Nanako, I feel that after this mission, I have to worship a teacher, this world is too dangerous. The female ninja took a deep breath. Okay, I'll help you find a relationship and send you to Konoha for apprenticeship. Thank you Nanako. Come on, let's keep going. It is good. The caravan set off again, but they will never forget what they saw today. The figure with the purple mask pattern floating in the air will also be deeply imprinted in their hearts, becoming a witness and a looker. Kilometers away, Scarface looked at the only four remaining subordinates, and his grief came from his heart. Originally, many subordinates could only make three melons and two dates, which was simply too difficult. Captain, let's go, the country of fire can't stay, it's too dangerous. Yes, just walking around like this, you can encounter such terrifying existences, how dangerous this country of fire must be. I feel that it's similar to Tang Zhiguo, it's not a place for people, it's too terrifying. Several of the subordinates were so scared that they felt unsafe even standing here. 
They kept looking around, afraid of what monsters would appear again. Captain Scar Insurance looked at his subordinate's cowardice, and originally planned to reprimand, but suddenly there was a deer next to him, which startled the one unit, and his heart started to feel even more nervous. Go, 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 and never come to the country of fire again. A few wandering ninjas ran away with ragged clothes and thin faces, vowing never to come to the country of fire. Fire Country Konoha Village, Hazuki's home. Ding. Congratulations to the master for completing the task, the reward will be increased by 10%. The warm current was flowing, and Hazuki felt that his brain became clearer and more radiant. Brother Hazuki, the clothes are ready, let's try to see if they fit. The voice of Uchiha Makoto came from the side, still so gentle, soft and glutinous, very nice. Give me a try. Hazuki opened his arms. You, Uchiha Makoto stood on tiptoe, pointed at Hazuki's forehead, gave him a sullen look, and started changing his coat for him. At this moment, she is actually a little confused, obviously they are about the same age, but why is brother Hazuki so much taller than himself? I used to be able to look up, but now I can only look up. With a slight entanglement, Uchiha Makoto changed Hazuki's clothes, and then took a closer look and nodded in satisfaction after finding that they fit well. Hazuki-san, what do you think? Is it comfortable to wear? Of course, this is the clothes you put all your heart into, and it will always be the best. Hazuki smiled and mixed Makoto's little head, feeling very warm. Brother Hazuki just likes it. Makoto's lips curled into a smile, and being praised by Hazuki was definitely a great recognition for her. She was in a happy mood, and rarely took the initiative to hug Hazuki, and then found that she couldn't leave, and was hugged tightly. Brother Hazuki, don't make trouble, I'll help you wash the old clothes. Makoto was a little embarrassed and could only say in a low voice. No, just make trouble. Hazuki didn't let go, and continued to hug her, even playing with her long smooth hair. Be good, brother Hazuki must be obedient. Makoto reluctantly kissed Hazuki lightly. I have a condition. Hazuki thought about it. What conditions? Hazuki's conditions are all good. I drank the potion in that moment. E.H. Makoto's little face turned pale, thinking of the very bitter potion, and instantly panicked. Brother Hazuki, is it okay to drink in the future? Uchiha Makoto said weakly. No, this is to improve your strength. Hazuki said. I don't want strength, I just need to follow Hazuki brother and be satisfied. Uchiha Makoto was talking, and seeing that Hazuki stopped talking, she was worried that Hazuki was not happy, and nodded quickly. Okay, okay, I'll drink it, don't be angry, Hazuki brother. Don't worry, it's not bitter this time, you'll know in a while. Hazuki shook his head, preparing to concoct a delicious potion for her. But just after a few steps, his brows furrowed. What's the matter, Hazuki bro? Someone is coming, someone's here. Who, Makoto wondered, blinking and blinking. It's Kashina, this girl is a jerk and doesn't know what to do. Hazuki didn't take it seriously, but brought Makoto to the laboratory. Give me your hand and take a few drops of blood. Okay, Makoto was very obedient, and without hesitation, handed the snow white little hand to Hazuki and let him draw blood. Okay, this time it's a new multi stack extraction method, and the extraction speed will be very fast. You go to work first, and I'll find you later. Wearing white gloves, Hazuki gently placed the blood into the test tube. Aha, Makoto nodded her head, left the laboratory obediently, and went outside, but after thinking about it, she still came outside and waited for Kashina to appear. After a few minutes, Kashina crept over, stood near the courtyard of Hazuki's house, and then quietly jumped on the wall of the courtyard to carefully check the situation inside. The information says that Hazuki has never left Konoha, so the chances of him being the big brother are very low, but why do I always think he is? Kashina muttered, her beautiful eyes filled with puzzlement. Let's investigate first, I don't believe that the investigation can't come out, and if it doesn't work, I will bite him and make the most intuitive judgment. Kashina finished muttering, jumped off the wall, and went to the window to watch. What are you doing, Kashina? A pleasant voice sounded behind Kashina. Yeah, Kashina was startled by the sudden sound, she hurriedly looked back, and when she saw that it was Makoto, she was relieved. Sister Makoto, you startled me. Kashina patted the little beast and breathed a sigh of relief. 
You girl, you secretly climbed over the wall without leaving the main entrance, tell me, what bad things are you planning to do? Uchiha Makoto said with a smile on his face. In fact, she already understood the reason why Kashina came here, and knew that Kashina was looking for brother Hazuki to confirm whether he was a super strong. Makoto knew everything, but Hazuki didn't mention it and she wouldn't, so she just smiled at Kashina. Makoto sister, why are you outside? Isn't it the Hazuki brother who usually accompanies you? Kashina changed the subject. Of course I'm waiting for you, do you think brother Hazuki didn't find you by sneaking in? You little idiot. Uchiha Makoto shook his head helplessly and continued, come in. Aha, Kashina was a little embarrassed, her little face flushed red, but she still walked into the house with her little feet. Where's Hazuki? Kashina looked left and right after entering the room, carefully looking for Hazuki's figure. He's busy, sit down first, do you want to learn how to make clothes with me? Uchiha Makoto asked suddenly. E.H., why should I learn to make clothes? Kashina's head was a little foggy, and she didn't turn around for a while. In order for you to learn a craft, if you need it later, I'll go get the materials. Makoto quickly took out the material from the house and gave it to Kashina, asking her to follow him. Actually, it's very simple to make clothes, just follow my steps, be careful, this is for brother Hazuki, don't break it. Uchiha Makoto said, the little hands skillfully thread the needle and start the demonstration. E.H. Kashina watched Makoto sew clothes quickly, and began to sew with curiosity. Oh, it hurts. Kashina hurriedly covered her little hand, and Xiao Ji Yu puckered up in pain. Did the needle stick? Be careful. Uchiha Makoto comforted Kashina softly before continuing to teach her. Looking at Makoto who was teaching earnestly, Kashina hesitated for a while, but in the end he was too embarrassed to refuse, so he could only start sewing again with the needle and thread. Oops, the pained cry rang out again. Kashina looked at the bloodshot of her index finger, her face turned white in pain. I don't make clothes anymore, I don't make clothes anymore, I'm not that material at all. Kashina handed the clothes to Makoto, pouting and sitting on the sofa without speaking. She came here to verify Hazuki's identity, but people haven't seen it yet, but she stabbed herself twice, which is really stupid. Depressed Kashina clenched her white jade fingers and carefully checked the injuries on her fingertips, her big eyes were pitiful. Forget it, since you don't like it, forget it. Uchiha Makoto had no choice but to give up teaching Kashina. When will Hazuki come out? I have something to ask him. Kashina thought about his own business and asked again. Looking for me. A cold voice came, and soon Hazuki came over with a tube of purification medicine and taught it to Makoto. Makoto, drink it. Um, Makoto looked at the tube of medicine and took it with a tangled face, but his expression was extremely sad and obviously a little scared. Seeing such a scene, Kashina was full of doubts. She wanted to ask what the potion was, and she could scare the well-behaved and sensible Makoto into this. But she thought of her mission and hurriedly said, Hazuki, I have something to tell you, can you come out with me? Kashina asked carefully, watching Hazuki's wrist with wide eyes. If you have something, talk about it here. Hazuki said calmly. No, it's important. Kashina shook her head and refused. If Hazuki was the big brother, she would also keep the secret for the big brother. But looking at Hazuki's demeanor, she knew that it was impossible not to be hard. Taking a deep breath, Kashina moved her small feet, quickly pulled up Hazuki's big hand, and walked directly towards the door. E.H., E.H. Hazuki was pulled by Zhao's little hand and walked out the door. He was going to push her away, but suddenly he looked in the direction of the Land of Thunder. As Sage Ardice escaped. Hazuki pondered secretly, and was pulled into the woods by Kashina, but Hazuki's eyes swept to the four ninjas in the dark. Those ninjas are protecting Kashina, and it seems that the last incident caused concern among the senior officials of Konoha. But Kashina didn't notice this, standing in front of Hazuki, staring at him. Hazuki, can I bite my wrist? Kashina said solemnly. Ding, please choose. 1. Agree to be bitten on the wrist by Kashina. Reward lightning style unicorn 2 refuse to be bitten on the wrist by kashina reward sage art rasengan 3 in thorn mode hit kashina directly reward extinguishing fire plus a small amount of chakra the mechanical system sound rang in his mind 
Kazuki quickly swept through the god level options, but the lightning style Kirin in the first item made him frown slightly. This lightning style unicorn is actually a bit tasteless. It needs to create a powerful environment first, and then guide the use of lightning. It is a very troublesome combination of ninjutsu. Kazuki didn't like this thing, so he ignored it and looked at the third item instead. Although the second item can make him continue to hide himself and continue to live a leisurely life, he has learned Sage Art Rasengan long ago, and there is no need to learn it at all. And Uchiha Madara's symbol of ninjutsu, but it aroused his interest, so he chose three without hesitation. Ding. After the selection is complete, come on, master. Ignoring the system's voice, Hazuki took a deep breath, picked up Kashina quickly, and patted Kashina's pea share with his big hand. Clap clap clap. After three beats, Hazuki put down Kashina and turned to leave, leaving her dumbfounded. Ding. Congratulations to the master for completing the task, reward, extinguishing fire plus a small amount of chakra. Hayuga Hazuki, stop for me, you hit me there, you. Kashina was mad, clutching her little pea share and hurriedly chasing after her, her little ears were already glowing red. In the woods, the four masked ninjas were a little sluggish when they looked at the back of Hazuki leaving dashingly. Kashina is the person protected by the super strong, this Hazuki is so bold that even Kashina dares to fight. Kashina must be fooled off, we help her teach Hazuki a lesson, maybe we can get the affirmation of the super strong. This Hazuki offended Lord Danzo, I will go back and report it immediately. If Lord Danzo learns this news, he will definitely be ecstatic. Following the discussion, a dog face masked ninja disappeared, while the other three ninjas showed their stature and walked towards Chianyu. Hayuga Hazuki, stop for me. Kashina got mad and ran up to Hazuki, grabbing his wrist and biting. Well, warm currents flowed in her body, Kashina's eyes widened suddenly, her angry mood suddenly disappeared, replaced by shock and excitement. Bang, are you a puppy? You bite when you come up. Hazuki shot Kashina and his head fell. Bold, dare to beat Kashina-sama. Hayuga Hazuki, you are dead, no one can save you this time, not even Hokage. Don't be afraid, Kashina, let's see how we teach this kid. Whoosh whoosh, three figures suddenly appeared, surrounding Hazuki with their weapons drawn, ready to beat Hazuki for a chance to win the show. E.H. Lesson Hazuki, Kashina was still in shock and didn't understand what the ninjas around him meant. Don't be afraid, Kashina, if you dare to hit you to Hazuki, you are an enemy of us and the entire Konoha, and no one can save him. Yes, you are the most important person in our Konoha, even if Lord Danzo said that he will swear to protect your safety. Hayuga Hazuki, you dare to anger Kashina-sama, do you know how serious the consequences are? It's no use even asking Hokage. The three ninjas said loudly, expressing themselves deliberately, in order to win the attention of the secret super powerful, and get the affirmation of that person. What nonsense are you talking about? Who said he was going to teach Hazuki brother a lesson? Do you want to die? Get out. Kashina panicked, clenching her fists and roaring. Big brother is the most important person to her. She is not allowed to treat him badly, even if it is bad because of misunderstanding. So, when she heard the words of the ninjas around her, she burst out, like a chili pepper. The three surrounding ninjas looked at Kashina who was mad, and they were all confused. They looked at Kashina stupidly, for a while they didn't know how to refute, and they didn't dare to refute. Lord Kashina, we, we are allies. A ninja said weakly. Whoever is your friend, get out, get out of here, don't blame me for being rude if you dare to say something bad about brother Hazuki. Kashina said angrily, clenching her little hands tightly, as if she was about to beat someone. I'm sorry Kashina-sama, let's go right away, right away. The three ninjas apologized again and again, and fled back into the woods in a hurry, not daring to come out again. At this moment, they were a little suspicious of life. Seeing them leaving, Kashina hurriedly turned to look at Hazuki, and said in a warm voice, Brother Hazuki, you. Okay, go back and talk. Hazuki said lightly, Aha. Kashina nodded her head obediently, completely different from the little pepper just now, obediently like a kitten. In such a scene, the three ninjas in the woods looked at each other, and they had no idea what was going on. What the hell is going on here? Even though Hazuki beat Kashina, why did Kashina protect Hazuki instead? Instead, he scolded us. 
I don't know, I suspect that the way to go out today is wrong, and I always feel that everything is unreal now, which is a bit contrary to common sense. I feel the same way, Hazuki treats her like that, and it makes no sense for her to protect her. The three ninjas talked a lot and couldn't figure out what was going on. But they were so confused that they forgot one thing, that their companions went to find Danzo. Outside the Hyuga family's residence, several shadows flashed by at a high speed, coming with strong chakra fluctuations, and it was Danzo who took the lead. Finally, I finally have the opportunity to make meritorious deeds, I can finally perform, I finally have the opportunity to get the affirmation of the super strong. Danzo murmured, excited, his eyes flushed. The first time he got the news, he left everything behind and rushed out of the residence regardless of his image, heading towards the residence of the Shang clan. Such reckless behavior can easily arouse Shang clan's vigilance. But Danzo can't care about this, as long as he can make meritorious deeds, as long as he can get the attention of the super strong, as long as he can become Hokage, he can give up everything, even his life. Therefore, Danzo is here, rushing to the front at the fastest speed in his life, rushing into the Hyuga clan, and rushing in the direction of Hazuki's house. Luckily he saw the target, saw Hazuki and Kashina. He appeared with a strong power, came with a terrifying chakra, appeared in front of Hazuki in the most stalwart posture, and stared at Hazuki brightly and stalwartly. Little devil, how dare you disrespect Kashina, let you know today how stupid the consequences of doing so are, and you will regret it for the rest of your life because of what happened today. Danzo finished speaking loudly, and walked towards Kashina, ready to protect Kashina and win the favor of the secret superpower. But at this moment, just as he walked over with the image of a bright and stalwart, a sudden sentence caused all his images to disappear, completely breaking the power. Go away, old man, don't stand in my way with brother Hazuki. Gah, Danzo was dumbfounded when he heard this, and stared blankly at Kashina who was talking, his mind was a little confused. Dead, dead old man. Danzo stammered, wondering if he had heard it wrong. To know that he is still a long way from the old man, but he was actually called to death by Kashina, the key point is that he can't say anything, because he doesn't dare. Taking a deep breath, Danzo suppressed the anger in his heart and said with a warm smile. Kashina, don't be afraid, this Hazuki dares to bully you, I will make the decision for you and teach him a lesson. Shut up and kill the old man, I don't need you to be the master. What happened to brother Hazuki bullying me? I want him to bully me, I want him to bully me for the rest of my life. As Kashina said that, her small white hand held Hazuki's big hand, and then she leaned her small head against Hazuki's arms with a happy expression on her face. This, Danzo was dumbfounded, dazed, his head seemed to be hit hard by a heavy hammer, buzzing. For, why, why is this? I'm obviously here to protect you. Danzo's mentality jumped, and the expected scene not only did not appear, but he was angry. There are many subordinates next to the key, as well as the Shang clan who are quietly observing in secret, this time his face is really lost. Ding, please choose. 1. Tell Danzo, I am a super strong, reward, B-level water style water tooth bomb. 2. Danzo, leaving with Kashina in his arms. Reward. B-level fire style head hard. 3. Hold Kashina and say directly to Danzo, because you are so ugly. Reward. B-level fire style extinction plus a small amount of chakra. Hazuki listened to the system's voice, looked at the three god-level choices, and quickly chose the third one. Then, under the watchful eyes of everyone, he wrapped his arms around Kashina's waist and stared at Danzo, because you are so ugly, you pollute the air. After Hazuki finished speaking, he walked towards the house under Danzo's astonished eyes, leaving everyone dumbfounded. I'm so ugly, ugly polluted air quit, Danzo said sluggishly, thinking about his old face, and looking at Hazuki's suffocating face, he seemed to have understood something, showing a sudden realization. It turned out that Kashina liked Hazuki, and then let Hazuki bully her, it turned out that Hazuki was too handsome, I finally understood, I finally understood. Danzo said with a sense of loss, and understood why he was not recognized for his good intentions. There is only one reason, that is, he is not handsome enough. Isn't it just handsome? I will definitely become handsome, I will definitely be, just wait. 
Danzo did not lose his confidence, but regained his fighting spirit and chose a path he thought was right, but this path will be bumpy and full of thorns. As for the final destination, it is likely to be the point of no return. Ding! Congratulations to the owner for obtaining a B-level fire style plus a small amount of chakra. The warm current reappeared, and Hazuki returned home with Kashina in his arms, but his eyes were turned in the direction of the Land of Thunder. The movie score is a little bigger this time. Hazuki brother what did you say? Kashina clenched Hazuki's big hand tightly, not daring to relax a little bit, as if he would never see Hazuki again after relaxing. You don't have to hold it so tightly, Hazuki said, rubbing the little head of the girl. No, I'm afraid you leave again, I don't want you to leave. Kashina shook her head, afraid that Hazuki would disappear. Don't worry, this is my home. Hazuki comforted softly, and after talking for a while, the little girl was relieved. The two walked into the house together, just in time to see Makoto's smiling eyes. Hazuki brother, did you tell her? Makoto smiled. Bitten by this puppy, Hazuki shrugged. Where are the puppies? Kashina's doo-doo mouth was a little reluctant, but she didn't lose her temper. Instead, she acted cute. Okay okay, rest with Makoto, I'm going to continue the experiment, by the way, give me a few drops of your blood. Hazuki thought of the mission, beckoned and took Kashina to take some blood, and then fell into blood purification again. In the living room, Kashina jumped up and down in a good mood, and when she saw Makoto making clothes on the sofa, she ran over quickly. Makoto-san, teach me how to make clothes. E.H. Didn't you say that it's not for making clothes? Makoto was puzzled, she remembered the scene just now. People can learn slowly, there will always be success. Kashina is a little embarrassed, but this is making clothes for brother Hazuki. Even if she thinks that she is not the material, she still has to study hard. That's it, okay, this is the outfit from just now, you can learn from me. Makoto smiled as if he understood something. Aha! Kashina picked up the clothes that had been put down earlier, followed Makoto's movements, and began to sew needle by needle. Oops, in less than a minute, Kashina clutched the index finger of her left hand, feeling a little depressed, but after looking at the clothes in her hand, she continued to study hard. This time, she tried her best to avoid getting stabbed. Unfortunately, she often walked by the river without wet shoes. She was stabbed again within five minutes of her clumsy appearance. But this time she didn't cry out, she just frowned and tried to sew again. It's all right, Uchiha Makoto noticed her strange, caring inquiries. It's okay, I found myself quite suitable for making clothes, you see what I sew. Kashina gestured with the clothes in his hand, a little happy. Stupid girl, you sewed wrong. You have to insert needles into the clothes, so that the stitches can be hidden and the thread will not be exposed. Makoto looked at the clothes that Kashina sewed, she was a little helpless, she could only tear off the thread and teach again. So it's like this, I, am I doing a disservice? Kashina's big eyes were pitiful, and she felt that she was really stupid. It's okay, just learning is like this, just study for a while, you can follow my steps. Uchiha Makoto did not blame her, but taught little by little, her voice was warm and soothing, very warm. Such comfort also warms Kashina's heart. She sits next to Makoto and learns the way she injects needles, little by little. The next time, the two worked together to sew clothes for Hazuki. Although it was unavoidable to be stabbed again, there was no more screaming, some were just warm chatting and discussions. Hokage office, Sarutobi Hirazan looked at the two Anbu below, frowning. Are you sure? That's why, yes, Lord Hokage, this is the reason why Danzo finally realized it. At that time, he was so excited and shouted out that we heard it. Anbu replied respectfully. Is that so, is he handsome? But the appearance is fixed at birth, and if you want to change it, you will have to experiment with humans. Sarutobi Hirazan said. Yes, Lord Hokage, Danzo has returned and plans to set up an organization called Root, whose purpose is to become handsome. Root, Sarutobi Hirazan was stunned for a moment, and continued with coldness in his eyes. The secret line lurking around Danzo, let them also participate in Danzo's experiment, and wait until the critical moment to destroy the experimental results. It's Hokage-sama. The two Anbu saluted respectfully and disappeared with a swoosh. In place, only Sarutobi Hirazan squinted in thought. 
Donzo's ambition is not small, become handsome. Humph. The residence of the Hyuga clan, the home of the patriarch. Being handsome, so it is, it seems that the future policy will be changed. The residence of the Uchiha clan, the home of the patriarch. In terms of appearance, Uchiha is not afraid of anyone, but Hazuki is a formidable enemy, he is too handsome, and this kid has a very unique temperament, that kind of cold temperament is the key. The Inoshika Cho family, the Kurama family, various small families, almost the entire Konoha got the news and began to change their strategies. Hazuki didn't expect that just deliberately letting Kashina bite himself would cause such a big setback and almost rewrite Konoha's future. But he couldn't care about it anymore, because he was staring at the mirror, his blue eyes. My eyes are getting clearer and clearer. I didn't expect Kashina's blood to have such a good effect on me, and even my physique has changed. Feeling the enhancement of her physique, Hazuki began to look forward to the idea that the intermediate sage body might be upgraded to the advanced level. If I get the blood of the other three, how far will it go? Is it possible to awaken the Sharingan? Or Rinnegan? Hazuki said expectantly, the blue in his eyes shone slightly, and then returned to calm. Don't worry, get the Tenseigen out first. I can feel that as long as I take some more purification medicine, I can get a Tenseigen ability again. I don't know what the power is this time. Gravity, repulsion, golem control, Tenseigen chakra mode. Hazuki said, and began to purify the blood again, but he always felt that his eyes were improving in a broader way. The Land of Thunder, Cloud Shinobi Village, Rakage Office. Lord Rakage, something has happened. A cloud shinobi rushed into the office in embarrassment, clutching his wound and falling to the ground. What's the matter? Rakage rushed over to see the injured cloud shinobi's expression condensed. Lord Rakage, something has happened to the Golden Horn and Silver Horn family. Cloud shinobi vomited blood and tried to shout out these words. Golden Horn and Silver Horn family. What's going on? Rakage's eyes narrowed slightly, thinking about whether this family is making trouble again, after all, this family's force value is still very high. But thinking that the family has been isolated from the village and even monitored, Rakage felt unlikely. What the hell is going on? Make it clear, Rakage said loudly. Their family, their family, poof. Cloud Shinobi spat out a mouthful of blood, fell to the ground and passed out. The secretary took him to therapy and I went to see it myself. Rakage gave a loud order, banged through the wall and rushed out, and then like an armored vehicle, it rushed towards the Golden Horn and Silver Horn family. It just makes him strange. The more he walked, the colder he felt, which made him very puzzled. Because it is not the season of snow at all, it is reasonable to say that this situation will not occur, but since it does, it proves that something is wrong. With a dignified rakage ran at high speed, and soon approached the Golden Horn and Silver Horn family, but looking at the scene in front of him, rakage was stunned. I saw directly in front of the huge family gathering place, at this moment. At this moment, it has been completely shrouded in ice, imprisoning everything like an iceberg. All buildings, plants, animals, and human beings were frozen inside and turned into lifelike ice sculptures. The area covered by the ice was extremely broad, covering almost everything. What shocked Rakage even more was that the creatures in the ice sculptures were still alive, not dead. Who, who did it? Who is it? Rakage roared, but no one answered him, the only one who knew the information had passed out. Rakage could only roar and start saving people. Bang! His fist slammed hard on an ice sculpture, intending to rescue the figure inside, but when the fist hit the ice sculpture, Rakage was stunned. He looked at the intact ice sculpture, felt the right hand under the shock, and there was disbelief in his eyes. Break me! Bang! The air rippling, spreading around with Rakage as the center, a powerful force slammed on the ice sculpture, but Rakage was stunned. No, impossible, if I punch down, even marble can be shattered, but what's going on with this ice sculpture? Ha, huh, Rakage's eyes narrowed, and he faintly noticed something was wrong. This ice sculpture seems to contain a special ability that can make the ice so strong. What is this? Rakage was dignified and couldn't figure out why. But it is important to save people, otherwise people in the ice will not freeze to death, but will also suffocate to death. Therefore, his right fist is clenched tightly, ready to use powerful ninjutsu, which is his ultimate move, the hell thrust known as the strongest spear. Break me, bang, click, 
The layers of ice shattered, and cobweb-like cracks appeared, gradually revealing the terrified cloud shinobi in the ice. Sir Rakage, you are finally here, and I know that apart from flames, you are the only one who can break ice in physical skills. Cloud Shinobi said gratefully, with admiration in his eyes, but he didn't notice that Rakage's hands trembled for a second. Even Rakage's gaze, staring solemnly at the countless ice sculptures, faintly felt a little tricky. What the hell is going on? Who caused all this? And the fact that Taishu can't break the ice? Rakage asked seriously. Lord Rakage, the previous short battle proved that this ice can only be melted with a lot of Hokage burning, and it is very difficult to break them with physical techniques and the person who caused it all. It's a man with a purple pattern mask. His strength is very terrifying. By the way, our patriarch was captured, and even all the ninja tools were lost. Cloud Shinobi hurriedly said. What did you say? Your patriarch was taken away. All the ninja tools were lost. Rakage's expression changed slightly. Although this family lost the golden horn and the silver horn, the remaining patriarch was still a strong man, but such a powerful person was taken away, and the key cutting tools were also lost. Gold rope, seven star sword, red gourd, banana fan, lake net. Each of these ninja tools has a great effect, and their loss will definitely be an earthquake for the kingdom of thunder. Where did the masked man go? The ninja gear must be brought back. Rakage said solemnly. I only saw him go to the southwest, and I don't know what's behind. The ice is freezing too fast, and I know very little information. Cloud Shinobi shook his head, looking a little frustrated, and he was very remorseful for failing to provide important information. The information you provided is enough, wait for the guards to come, tell them all the information, and I will hunt down the masked man. After Rakage finished speaking, he rushed to the southwest without hesitation. This rakage just left, and then a large number of cloud shinobi appeared, but their eyes widened in shock at the ice area in front of them. What is going on here? Although this family is isolated on the edge of the village, such a big battle is too terrifying. Ha, huh, there are traces of the barrier here. It seems that someone set up the barrier before the battle. No wonder, I didn't expect to be a master of enchantment. Don't talk about it, hurry up and save people. A heavy voice sounded, and then the elder elder appeared with the guards. Rescue the frozen companion quickly, fast. Yes. Under the order, all the cloud shinobi began to act, using their means to rescue those who were frozen by the ice. Jingle jingle. They, who were good at physical arts and melee combat, started to exert their strength, but the results made them stunned. Their many methods have no effect on the ice. This ice is so strong, my knife was actually damaged by the shock. Me too, this ice is too weird. Elder, the flame can melt these ices, although the effect is much weaker, but now is the only way. Cloud Shinobi, who was rescued earlier, hurriedly told the information he knew. Flame, the great elder got the information about this person and quickly ordered the test, which soon got gratifying results. Although the ice still melted very slowly, the flames were indeed effective. Now they were relieved. But, looking at the large icy area, and thinking that Cloud Shinobi Village prefers physique and melee combat, everyone became dignified again. Call all the fire-style ninjas in the village immediately to rescue the frozen companions. The Elder ordered. Yes, following the order of the Great Elder, the entire Cloud Shinobi Village was mobilized. All the ninjas who can use fire-style, from the gray-haired old man to the child who just vomited small flames, were all called up. Certainly, there are many ways to burn, the Cloud Shinobi found a lot of easy-to-burn materials, rescued their companions in the ice, and dispatched powerful ninjas to find the masked man. Outside the village of the Kingdom of Thunder, on the top of a certain hill. Rakage ran fast, chasing after the trace, and his eyes were full of solemnity. With so few traces left, if I wasn't experienced, I would probably be lost, and it really is a tough enemy. Rakage continued to chase, and soon saw what he was looking for. It was a figure with a purple mask, and his appearance was not burly, even a little thin. But Rakage didn't dare to be careless, the opponent could cast such terrifying ice, it was definitely tough, and he had to rescue the unconscious hostage. Who are you? Why did you come to Cloud Shinobi Village? Why did you hurt those civilians? Why did you take their clan leader? Rakage asked tentatively, with hatred in his eyes. 
The area in the village that was frozen by ice was too vast, and many ordinary civilians were frozen in it. Those civilians who had no strength would be frozen to death in a short time. Such a ruthless and ruthless enemy made Rakage want to smash the opponent into thousands of pieces. You didn't see the words in the center of the ice. The masked man suddenly spoke, and his voice had a hint of metal texture, obviously disguised. The word in the center of the ice. Rakage was stunned, he really didn't know this, and he asked tentatively, what word? You'll know when you go back and have a look. Let's fight you first, you can't wait for so long. The masked man was eager to try. You're waiting for me. Impossible, how did you know I was chasing? I found it through the traces you left. Rakage doubted. Those traces were left by this guy, do you really think I don't know? The masked man kicked the hostage next to him and said, stop pretending, get out, don't delay my fight. Bang, the unconscious hostage stood up abruptly, rushed out 10 meters away like lightning, and then quickly ran behind Rakage to dodge. Lord Rakage, he has drawn a lot of blood from me, this person is very dangerous, you must be careful. Wait, let me ask first, are those traces really left by you? Rakage had a bad feeling in his heart. Yes, in order not to be discovered by him, I deliberately stayed less, but I didn't expect this person to know everything. Know everything, hearing the words of the patriarch, Rakage was dumbfounded. He looked at the masked figure in disbelief, feeling a little unsure for the first time. Okay, stop being stupid, let's start fighting, don't let me down. The masked figure said, and his right hand suddenly hit the ground. Boom, the terrifying ice surged and swept towards Rakage with boundless power. The scale of the ice was so vast that it was like a huge wave hitting the past. Be careful, Rakage screamed and slammed into the strongest trick, lightning-style chakra mode. Hell's thrusts are all four. Boom, countless pieces of ice shattered, and Rakage rushed towards the masked man like an armored vehicle. But facing the boundless ice, he took three steps forward and was rushed back by the ice, and even the ice quickly froze around him. Infernal thrusts are all in one hand. Boom, the ice shattered again, and all the ice surrounding Rakage was torn apart. The Rakage, whose whole body is shrouded in thunder and lightning chakra, charged forward again like a demon with indomitable momentum and power. Boom boom boom, layers of icy walls appeared, blocking his footsteps, and countless icy spikes below continued to rise. Boom boom boom, what? Rakage roared furiously, constantly destroying all the ice, but the boundless ice overwhelmed him, and he couldn't make an effective attack at all, and could only be pushed back by the ice. Even being continuously wrapped and frozen. No, it's impossible, I am the strongest rakage, how can I lose, I will never lose, break me. Break, break. Lord rakage, stop struggling, you can't move anymore. Gah, rakage looked at his wrapped body, and the head left outside looked at not far away, looking at the patriarch who was in the same state as him, he was silent. I lost. Rakage said with a sigh, and for a moment seemed to be several years old, and the whole person exuded a decadent atmosphere. It took five minutes to defeat you, although I didn't use my full strength, it took a little longer, and Sage Art Ice Dunn is still weaker. The masked man shook his head slightly and looked a little disappointed. He thought of the future, when Madara used Sage Art to cut the truth-seeking ball black stick. It's also Sage Art, and it's also the bloodline limit, and the difference in power is not even a little bit. It seems that a new bloodline limit is going to be developed. The other person said and waved. Equals. But Rakage, who had escaped from the ice, heard these words clearly, and he felt that his head was not enough. Moreover, the words Sage Art also caught his attention, but the other party disliked the fact that Bing Dun was too weak, which made him feel more and more uncomfortable. He wanted to say, can we stop hitting people like that? But he didn't say it, he saw that the masked people didn't mean to hurt them, and the ice in Cloud Shinobi Village made him wonder. By the way, the masked man said he left some words in the center of the ice, does it have any special meaning? Rakage murmured, and couldn't wait to go back to see what the words left in the ice meant. However, the masked man in front of him made him very afraid. Although the other party did not intend to kill them, he was still very worried in the face of such a powerful expert. If the other party suddenly changed their minds, maybe they would be dead, so he was still in a state of vigilance. Okay, the task is complete, see you too. 
The masked man waved his hand and disappeared with a bang. E.H. Gone. Rakage looked at the masked man who disappeared into a white mist, his expression was stunned, and his pupils shrank sharply in the next second. Lord Rakage, is this shadow clone? The patriarch's voice came from his side, and Rakage clenched his hands suddenly. Yes, it's shadow clone. Rakage replied calmly, just clenching his hands to prove the restlessness in his heart. Doesn't that mean, 533, my family was settled by a shadow clone, and you were defeated by a shadow clone? The patriarch's voice sounded again, and blood dripped from Rakage's heart. You talk too much. Rakage glanced at the other party, turned and jumped away, but the action of taking a deep breath proved that he had always suppressed the shock in his heart. It is acceptable for him to be defeated by a mysterious powerhouse, but it is unacceptable for him to be defeated by a shadow clone. Now, he just wants to go back to the ice area and see what the words left by the strong man mean. Whoosh whoosh. The two ran fast and quickly returned to the icy area of Cloud Shinobi Village. But the scene in front of them made them very strange. Because a large number of ninjas quietly surrounded the ice area, curiously watching the situation inside. What's going on? Why don't you save people? Rakage said angrily. Sir Rakage, you're back, please read the text in the frozen center. The elder hurriedly gestured. What do the words mean? Why don't you save people first? Although Rakage also wanted to read the text, he was very dissatisfied with the behavior of his subordinates for not saving people. The reason why he went out alone to chase the masked figures was because he believed in his subordinates, but looking at the civilians in the ice, his heart burst into anger. Lord Rakage, listen to me, many people have come out of the ice, and now there are no casualties. The elder explained. No casualties doesn't mean there won't be next. Even if they don't freeze to death, they will suffocate to death. Have you ever thought about this? Rakage scolded and roared, and the emotions that were originally suppressed were now showing signs of eruption. Lord Rakage, the ice will thaw by itself, and every once in a while, a group of people will be released, and no one is injured, which is very strange. What, are you sure? Rakage was stunned, recalling the strength of the purple masked figure, he really believed it. Yes, now only the last batch of people is frozen, and it will be unblocked soon. The first elder said, the ice in the distance rattled, and soon the last group of people who were frozen successfully escaped. This, Rakage was stunned by this scene and always felt a little dreamy. He was stunned for two seconds, and quickly rushed to the center of the ice. He wanted to take a good look at the mysterious powerhouse and what the words left behind. Perhaps very important words, or some kind of warning. With a restless mind, Rakage came to the center of the icy zone with a few flashes. Then he lowered his head and looked at the ground, the font condensed by the ice. It's too hot, let's cool down for everyone, thank you. Rakage just wants to scold people now, what kind of mysterious powerhouse are you playing with the gorilla here? Can you be a little bit of the power of the powerhouse? Rakage was furious but he couldn't beat the opponent, so he could only return angrily. Don't let me meet you again, meet you again, I. I. Rakage muttered and found that he couldn't beat the other party, so he could only go back to the office with a dark face and annoyed. Fire Country Konoha Village, Hazuki's home. Hazuki, who was busy in the laboratory, was stunned when he received the message from Shadow Clone, and then smiled slightly. This Shadow Clone can really mess things up, but I like it. Hazuki smiled and quickly formed the seal. Summoning technique. Bang. The white mist rolled, and a katsuyu loomed in the mist. Lord Hazuki. A crisp female voice came, and then katsuyu pulled the space scroll out of his body. Thank you for your hard work, just put those ninja tools with you, I won't be able to use them for the time being. Hazuki said with a smile. It's Hazuki-sama. Katsuyu bowed his head slightly, then disappeared with a, bang. It's convenient to have summoning beasts, so the next step is to purify new potions. As Hazuki said, he was once again caught in the purification of the medicine. Through the multiple superposition purification method, his purification speed was extremely fast. In just two hours, he extracted two bottles. Let's see how it works. Hazuki took a bottle first, and soon found out how strong the gain it brought, the warm current was like being in a hot spring all the time, especially comfortable. The effect is very good. 
it seems to be developing in the direction of Tensagon, and it has become more extensive. Let's continue to experiment. With anticipation, Hazuki continued to get bogged down in the experiment, and it was a busy few days. In the past few days, he spent most of the time in the laboratory, except for occasional breaks and meals, that is, he stayed in the laboratory. This kind of dedicated research also made Kashina and Makoto pay attention. They wanted to help more than once, but they were all rejected by Hazuki. Of course their blood is also drawn from time to time, especially Makoto's. Her blood has become more and more effective because Hazuki has been using it for a long time. Several times, when Hazuki looked in the mirror, he saw the red light in his eyes, and there was a faint meaning of cohesion. Another few days passed. With only one day left until the Chunin exam, Hazuki was still in the lab, which worried Makoto and Kashina. Makoto's sister, Hazuki's brother has been in the laboratory for a whole day, I'm a little worried. Kashina said, clasping her small hand. Trust brother Hazuki, he won't do anything unsure. Uchiha Makoto comforted Kashina, but the worry on her little face became more intense. She is more emotional about Hazuki, so she pays more attention to Hazuki's situation, and if there is any bad information about Hazuki, she will be worried. Crackle. A crisp sound came from the laboratory, which seemed to be the sound of glass breaking. Makoto and Kashina heard the sound and trotted to the door of the laboratory. Hazuki brother, are you all right, Hazuki brother? The two girls shouted anxiously, but they didn't dare to use it too loud for fear of disturbing Hazuki. I'm fine, Makoto is going to get an eye strap. Hazuki's voice came from inside the house, with a hint of hoarseness in his voice. Okay, I'll go right away. Makoto hurriedly ran into the house and fetched an eye protection strap. Come in. Hazuki's voice came from inside the house again, still so hoarse. Hearing this, Makoto and Kashina hurriedly opened the door of the laboratory and ran in. But, they who had just entered the laboratory, looked at Hazuki's closed eyes, and the blood stains under them, and cried out in fright. Hazuki brother, what's wrong with you? Are you all right, woo woo woo? Makoto's big eyes were filled with teardrops, rolling down like a pearl with a broken thread. And she ran into Hazuki's arms for the first time and hugged him tightly, but those tear-stained eyes were always looking at Hazuki, and she couldn't hide her worried eyes. As for Kashina's condition, she couldn't throw herself into Chiba's arms, so she could only hold Hazuki's arm and ask worriedly. I'm fine, my eyes are waking up, don't cry, that's a good thing. Hazuki said in a warm voice, comforting the small heads of the two girls with their big hands. As brother Hazuki really, are you really going to be okay? I'm so scared. Although Makoto heard Hazuki say it was fine, he was still very worried, and there was deep worry in his tear-stained eyes. Don't worry, I promise. Hazuki pinched Makoto's little face lightly and assured. Aha, seeing Hazuki's affirmation, Makoto finally felt relieved, and there was finally a slight smile on the pear flower's rainy little face. She quickly ran to the outside to bring water and a towel, and carefully cleaned the blood stains under Hazuki's eyes, and then thoughtfully Hazuki put on an eye band to protect his eyes. Come on, let's go to the living room. Hazuki said with a smile. Brother Hazuki, we support you. Makoto and Kashina stood on either side of Hazuki, trying to help him out. I can walk, you don't have to hold me, can you still believe my strength? Hazuki shook his head. No, you're a patient now, brother Hazuki has to be obedient. Makoto said with a tight face, looking a little serious. Yes, Hazuki-san wants to listen to Makoto's sister. Kashina also spoke, helping to speak. Okay, okay. Hazuki had no choice but to follow the wishes of the two little girls. Next, Hazuki was carefully helped by two cute girls to the sofa in the living room, and then accepted the care of the two of them. Hazuki brother eat an orange, you like oranges the most. Makoto's slender hand peeled an orange, broke apart a little bit and fed it to Hazuki. Kashina next to him brewed a cup of tea, holding it in his small snow white hand, and said softly, Brother Hazuki, I brewed a cup of tea. It's your favorite tea. I'll give you a drink when it's not hot. You guys, Hazuki has nothing to do with these two little girls, and can only accept their care, not to mention, it's really fragrant. In fact, with his strength, even if his eyes could not be opened, it would not affect his combat effectiveness. At his level, he had nothing to fear in this world. 
Even if he doesn't use the trump card template, he can still look down on the ninja world, but invincibility also brings a bit of trouble, that is, it's boring. This is also the reason why he likes research, and even completely likes the feeling of this kind of research. Especially this morning, when he drank the last bottle of potion, he felt the throbbing in his blood, and he suddenly felt a joyful harvest. I don't know what kind of ability will be awakened. I'm really looking forward to it. Hazuki was leaning on the big sofa leisurely, receiving the care of two cute girls, and his mood was far away. The number two shadow clone to the land of water was too slow to go to beat three tails, it's time to hurry, and also to get some of Tsunade's blood. Hazuki said, thinking of tomorrow's Chunin exam, he planned to go out to relax, get some blood, and then trigger the god level selection. Ding. Please choose. 1. Take the Chunin exam. Reward. Fire style hard work. 2. Refuse to take the Chunin exam. Reward. Fire style ash accumulation. 3. Get the first place in the Chunin exam. Reward. Secret technique water iron cannon technique. Water cannon technique. Hazuki looked at the third option, feeling a little interesting. In the original anime, this ninjutsu looks very handsome, as if shooting a gun, just aim at the opponent directly. This ability, which belongs to the single attack ability, is still very interesting. Hazuki did not hesitate and chose this item directly. Ding. After the selection is complete, come on, master. Brother Hazuki, it's almost noon, I'll go get you something to eat. Makoto looked at the time and said. Kiss and go, Hazuki said with a smirk. Um, Uchiha Makoto's face was flushed, and he approached Hazuki with a sigh of relief kissed him lightly on the side of the cheek, and ran to the kitchen in a panic. This girl, Hazuki smiled and picked up the tea that Kashina handed over and took a sip. Brother Hazuki, I'm going to help cook too. Kashina whispered something, then stood up, but instead of leaving, she stood pretty. Go, Hazuki waved his hand and continued to drink tea intently. E.H., looking at Hazuki's appearance, Kashina was stunned for a second and didn't know what to say, so she could only walk away helplessly. And in her little guinea pig, she murmured something unfair. The land of water, by a lake. The huge three tails Jifu fell weakly by the lake, looking at the figure in front of him pitifully. Originally, he came out to take a breath, but who would have thought that a man with a purple pattern mask suddenly appeared, and then he came up with an attack. It got angry at the time, the tiger doesn't get angry, do you think I'm a sick cat? Furious, it started to fight with tyrannical power, and went through three days of terrifying battles, and then. And then no more. It is now lying on the beach with injuries all over its body, and its incomparably miserable state is the result. Moreover, in the past three days, it was in a state of being beaten all the way, and was beaten in various postures, and it was extremely aggrieved. Being beaten for no reason, it's strange that he can feel it in his heart. It wants to resist, but it can't beat the other party, so it can only stare at the other party helplessly. Yeah, it's too weak, you can't hold it in three days, my sage art big ball Rasengan hasn't been used yet, get up and fight again. The man with the purple pattern mask stood in front of three tails and said, kicking three tails in the head to make it rise. But three tails had had enough it decided not to get up after being beaten to death. Every time it got up, it was beaten violently. Whoever got up was insane, so it didn't move and just pretended to be dead. You are a tailed beast, is there such an unscrupulous tailed beast as you? The purple masked man continued. Hearing this, three tails sneered and glanced at the other party. It wanted to reply, is there such a strong and unscrupulous person as you? It's a pity that it doesn't dare, so it can only continue to pretend to be dead. Since you like to play dead, don't blame me for being rude. The purple masked man raised his right hand, and the huge sage art Rasengan began to rippling. Ow, three tails Jifu saw that his posture was not good, and immediately roared and begged, completely losing the dignity of a tailed beast, looking like a bullied little beast, it looked as pitiful as it was pitiful. It's really boring, didn't it just beat you for three days? As for that, the man in the purple mask said, meaning to leave. Bang, white mist rippled, and a small katsuyu suddenly appeared on the ground. My lord has an order for you to carry out the task as soon as possible. Little katsuyu said quickly after appearing. Okay, I see. The purple masked man nodded, and after watching little katsuyu disappear, he patted three tails on the head and said, 
Next time I'll play with you, I'll go first, bye. Whoosh. The man in the purple mask left, but Three Tails remained dumbfounded. It shivered slightly as it recalled the information just now. It never thought that such a terrifying mask powerhouse would actually have an adult. Such a result was unexpected. In such a dangerous outside world, it decided to return to the lake to stay and never come out again. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.